Hello, Wonders, and welcome back to the table. We got a new addition. Look at that. Yeah, we got cards. We got, and oh, character yeah. cards. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be uh, a lot of people have been wondering about our character sheets and our stats, so I thought, you know what? I'm Kill two that. birds, one stone. That space where the webcam usually is, where the uh, you know the map usually pops up, let's use that for something. Yeah. Makes so. sense. Okay. Uh, either way, yeah, that's, that's where the map usually is, so... That'll pop up when the map is needed. But, uh, yeah, now you can see all of our stats and how incredibly well I rolled Wake. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, he got some pretty crazy lucky rolls. And that, and that was my, character. like, what, you allowed three mulligans with the re-rolls? Yeah, and that, that was your third mulligan. Yeah, th th that was my last chance at rolls. And I had some <laughs> okay ones before that. But that one was like, you know, 16, 16, 15, 14, 12, 10. <laughs> Dude, if you're rolling a 10 as your mitigated stat, like, yeah. dude, fuck off. That's amazing. And then all of my racial attributes just kind of boosted the things. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, here we go. Yeah, and plus also people need to remember that you're, you guys went above level 4 or 5, which yeah, so we are, we got our Yeah, yeah. That, that's what got me to 20 in dexterity. Yeah, and... Rather than the pitiful 19. <laughs> the natural... Oh, you. Natural 20. Like, when, you're, when your stats are at 20, that's the most natural point it's ever going to grow. Apart from magical items, you can't go any higher. Yeah. Wake is the fastest human po or the fastest creature possible. By the laws of nature. By Merman's laws of nature. Yes. <laughs> His training is complete. So, uh, the table is a lot roomier this session. Yeah, it's like we just, uh, I don't know, shed a bunch of dead weight. It's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, they left us some blink pyramids. Uh, it was great having Taka last week for those that uh, missed the uh, session last week. Feel free to go back and check the archives. It was a fun episode. Yes. Yeah, it was. So we, we broke a zoo. Uh, <laughs> And if you actually notice on the map, you see where it's all faded out and everything, like right here? Yeah. That's what your damage you've guys done. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so you are far from that side of town right now. <laughs> so at the end of that, you know, we went back to our ship. We, we nestled it into a nice spot, tried to smuggle it aboard the ship. Uh, Grammy's been trying to cook it this whole time. It, it, I'm, I'm assuming uh, it, by the way, which is a fairy dragon, right? Yes, not a pseudo dragon? Yes, I made dragon? a mistake. It's not a pseudo. It's a fairy dragon. Okay. So it's even more powerful. Yeah. Okay, great. Pseudo dragons are just cat-sized dragons. When you think like, hey, my wizard's going to have a pet dragon, that's what you're thinking of. But a fairy dragon is the thing from fucking Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone that summons fey demonic dragon magic upon its foes. Right. So we have a dangerous creature. Uh, Let's give it to Nedra. I'm, yeah, no, Ned, it's Nedra's pet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's Arata on the summon wood, uh, woodland creatures spell specifically to stop you from summoning those to summon five other things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, a, fa a fairy dragon's pretty much. If anyone here has played Ragnarok online, it's the dead branch of dragons. Okay. So yeah, we have one of those uh, sitting on our ship, and um, yeah, today is the big day. It's Nedra's fight, and it's Eloy's recital. <laughs> What a day. A battle, of the, a battle of the fists and a battle of the bands <laughs> all in one go. Oh, man. And uh, even though it might be a little bit difficult for everyone to see, we have the color versions and we oh, have yeah, the yeah. new... Feel free uh, to pull up the map here <laughs> so we can show off. We got lovely colored versions of our characters, which I think will be a little easier to see until I can get a better rigging for that. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have the uh, wooden ones that we received from Miles and Bracky. Which uh, are beautiful. They yeah. are fucking awesome. I'm just so upset that the camera can't really Yeah, the pick camera them up. can't quite make them out as they are right now, but hopefully uh, we should be getting some equipment in shortly that will allow us to get that camera closer to the table so I don't have to like digitally zoom and enhance everything. Enhance. Alrighty, so it is currently nine o'clock in the morning. You guys got pretty much like maybe three to four hours of sleep after your little escapade at the zoo. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not the one fighting. <laughs> uh, you guys kind of, like, have a vague idea of where everyone kind of, like, went as according to, like, hey, you left them to go get some sleep. So all the people who, like, didn't go on this little zoo heist. Everybody all... probably just went and rested. <laughs> yeah, they all rested, and they're all pretty much going off and doing whatever it is So is they're doing. So Red and Gopher decided to go to the bazaar. Skrung, you don't know where the fuck he went off to. He's Skrung. He's Skrung. Uh, Onslow is actually, like, getting some breakfast after a long nightly hunt he went on, uh, so he's off by the, uh, by the food area where the Coliseum is. Gotcha. 
Uh, Riss and Pliskin are hanging out at the Merchants uh, dock right now. Uh, so currently, you guys, including Nedra, Calliope, and Ziaka, are still at the Kyle's estate. Okay. You, except for Calliope and uh, Ziaka, you guys and Nedra look like you have the biggest bags under your eyes right now. It's been a day and a half. Mm. I don't know. I liked him. <laughs> I believe I have made my feelings clear. <laughs> he left us these. I hold out the pyramids. You could have stopped it. He left us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gift that keeps on giving. I, truly. Eloy, are you ready to put on the performance of <sighs> your life? I hear a band plays better if they don't sleep the night before. God, I hope that I hope that's true. <sighs> I'm not I'm I put I put down a lot of gold for this one. <laughs> I might see if they'll give me an extension. <laughs> Let me see if, I, if this alchemy jug can ah, make You'll fit right shit. into the college life then. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I knew I could... I, I'm just a little sick for this midterm today. <laughs> Look, I got an extra day. <laughs> My roommate <All> right. died. <laughs> Eloy. What's fucked up is I kind of had that situation. Oh, in oh Jesus. <laughs> not a roommate, not, not but it was, a, it was an old lady tenant. Oh, oh boy. Man. Not 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 prying on that one. No. Okay, Eloy. Which of these do you think would wake you up more? Uh, <laughs> which which would better? Let me rephrase that. Which would better prepare you for your performance? Uh, I can make you two gallons of vinegar. Just a quick like sip of that to, <laughs> to really get you going. Really snifter that vinegar. Uh, or you know. Uh, Hold on. Why don't we stop by the bazaar? Maybe the. I'm a potion or something. Or, you know, you can have four gallons of beer and just really loosen up. Calliope's just right there looking at all of you. Why don't you just ask the jug to make you coffee? Uh, because according to the list of things I was told it could make, that's not on there, but I guess I could ask. Uh, <laughs> alchemy jug, alchemy jug, woo-woo-wee. Can you make, my friends, some delicious Less coffee? Less sleepy. <laughs> Tries to pour it into a nearby glass. Does anything happen? Uh, some moldy, <laughs> molten hot cup of Joe just starts pouring out. Whoa! Yo! Whoa! Hey! Well, all right. Uh, That's what I call homebrew. <laughs> Hold on. Grammy? Is this okay to drink? Meh. <laughs> all right. If Grammy says it's okay, it's okay. Have Grammy says meh. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's all right. And she's not even there. That was in your mind's eye. <laughs> You're so delirious. She's, she's, you're just looking around. It's okay, Grammy? <laughs> <laughs> you're so fucking delirious, you forget that she's on the ship, and there's just Grammy sitting in the corner. <laughs> so, yeah, no, you found out that, yes, if, as long as it's a liquid, it can produce it. Did, do I have a vague idea of the amount? Because usually different things can produce different, uh, uh, different amounts. Of I'm going to say it makes the same amount as beer does. Since, right. it's a, since it's a specialty kind of drink. I've got four gallons of coffee if anybody wants it. Dibs. <laughs> Does Eloy even know what coffee is? He will soon. It's bitter bean juice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's me. Oh. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I was just here because I was summoned here by his gracious lord, Eber Khan. Would you like some coffee? Oh, I'd love some. You see, I've been a little on edge as I've received a report about a break-in at the zoo. What? That's oh, terrible! No. I know. The poor animals, are they okay? Oh. Uh, <laughs> we, more or less, uh, we had a little problem with three children getting concussed at the zoo. Oh, no, do you terrible. Want, I mean, we're at your service. Do you want us to look into it for you? Oh, no, no. See, we have a little bit more of uh, something pressing involved. It seems the prince wishes to discuss with you, dear. He points over to Calliope. Oh. The prince himself. Yes. Mr. Oso, the fine turtleman. He, uh... He uh, spoke of his situ of the, her situation to his highness himself. So he wants to sit in and discuss some things with her. Oh, nothing terrible, I assure you. It's purely just supplies she would need and uh, a couple of uh, vorpal frigates that will be going along the way. That's why I'm here. Ah, interesting. I hold out my cu I hold out a cup for some coffee. <laughs> Freshly brewed. You, you hand him a cup, he's like, oh, thank you, but I might need a little bit of a bigger glass. 
Yes. Uh, no problem. This one's for me anyway. <laughs> Takes a beer sign. <laughs> you just keep on pouring, fella. <laughs> we got plenty. I'm worried what this might do to Nedra. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. This is actually hot, so I'm not going to do it. But <laughs> Roll constitution. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, it's not going to be terrible, but I just want to see this happen. Sure. It's not a net one. No. Three. Uh, I got a 13. Because you don't know how hot this shit is. All you see is the steam rising <laughs> from it. You asked it to make coffee. You never specified. You never specified how hot it had to be. So what oh, was your number seven, again? Sorry. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Let me roll for Gore. Oh, fucking downs it like a champion. This man. If if you didn't know any better, this man could have probably just taken the whole pot and drank from it instead of the. Haven't we the seen mug. like smoke emanate from him when he gets upset? I have a he feeling. He creates pot heat. I have a feeling heat is not something that scares. He also him creates. Too much. Dink. So. Uh, so you guys have all started drinking your coffee. You look at, you look at Gore. Like you watch, like the heat is so immense from it. You're watching as like his che- cheeks are beginning to glow and it goes down his throat. Jeez. So how did I handle it? <laughs> you. You can feel the burn, but <gasps> for some reason, like, because of just, like, your genetic makeup of being able to take I'll, in, I'll like, say I probably used my, I, I have the ability of elemental attunement where I can cool any non-living thing. Yeah. So it's like, hoo ha, as it yeah. gets in my mouth. <laughs> oh. So you watch, it's like, from your gills, it starts to seep out steam. <laughs> and, like, your, like, your body is doing that on its own. You two, however, you know, you have to spit that shit out or you're going to burn your tongue off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, blow on that first. <laughs> yeah, good luck tasting things for the rest of the day. Yeah, here it, I, I touch each of their glasses with my <laughs> elemental attunement, and it like cool it to a moderate temperature. That'll be fine. Yeah, it is impressive what this thing can do. I think we found a weapon. <laughs> Gore turns his head and looks at you. A what? I mean, th- this coffee. Oh, sorry, Gore. I don't think I've ever shown you this. Uh, the coffee you're drinking actually came from this uh, alchemy jug that I found in one of our earlier adventures. Uh, and it, it produced this coffee at that temperature you just drank. For most beings, uh, you know, those of us with, with weaker abilities uh, when it comes to heat, uh, this is some really, really hot coffee. That being said, I think Nedra would be fine with a glass, although I worry about the caffeine in her. Yeah, that might be. One of the cups is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> There's Yaka with a cup. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Had to get to that. Do you want want that cooled down at all? Oh, no. She just drank it. She didn't know what it was. She just saw a drink and was like, ooh. Ah, yes. So her underscales are like white, Uh like as a, a, like a palish yellow, kind of like how Indian cobras are. You watch as that starts to turn from tannish yellow to bright orange. She, her face looks like she's made a terrible, egregious mistake. Do you want me to cool that down, or is it just too bitter? <laughs> do, you, do you need a Healy song, Ziaka? I'm going to roll one more for her before this <laughs> happens. Oh, and that one. Okay, she just she burps up fire. Whoa. That's some spicy coffee. Really hot coffee. Just keep like staring that. out the alchemy jug every time something happens. She, it sounded like she sneezed and exuded one of her spells. <laughs> Is that some kind of chemical reaction that her people can have? I'm just going to touch her cup and cool it down. There you go. I don't think I want it anymore. <laughs> All right. Calliope, you want a glass? Calliope? Oh, she's drink- she, She's watching this whole scene. She's like, no. Okay. <laughs> Nedra! Nedra, <laughs> Nedra, however, I, I go ahead and reheat it. <laughs> she she comes back down. She's like half awake right now. Like, what? She doesn't want her to crash before the fight. Uh, this is like our. Uh, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. You have three hours before you have to go. It'll help her. Pay, it'll, it'll peck her up right now. All right. Here, this will help you get up. I know we had a. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It just looks over. We went to the. We've had. (laughs) Yeah, we uh, had some fun around the bazaar last (laughs) night. Wanted to see everything that was going on. Is that where we went? Yeah, we were looking all around town. 
Remember, we got you that mask that you're going to wear at your fight today. Oh, that's right. Oh, cool. I get to punch things. Hold on. Let's see. She doesn't handle coffee very well. <laughs> How you feeling, Nedra? I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great, I'm feeling great! You're ready to punch things? <clears throat> she turns to Gore. Nope, not him! Nope. You have to hold it? Nope, nope, that was a very <laughs> fucking bad roll. She's going for it. Okay. Oh. Can I uh, make a attempt to intercept? No, I'm going to let this go through. Okie dokie. She takes the most wild swing at Gore, knowing she's not allowed to hit anyone else from the team because that's what you told her to do. Accurate. So she's being very, very specific very to Very literal rules. to my rules. Yep, your rules, but Gore's not a part of those rules. You, you hear bone cr crunching as her fucking knuckles go right into Gore's face. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gore's standing there taking it. Nedra still has the fist going in deeper and deeper. I'm so, so sorry. Hold on. I'm, I'm, heal a song. Heal a song. <laughs> See? You're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. She's she fine. Removes her, she removes her hand and goes, Ah! Gore's fine. <laughs> you're a tough individual. <coughs> I get that a lot. Weird. So Nedra, are sorry, you, are, sir. Are no, no disrespect meant. Oh, no. Don't, don't feel... Obligated to apologize. I've taken a few spry shots to the face once or twice in my lifetime. <laughs> I am part of the Navy, of course. We have a lot of opposition when it comes to situations like that. You need to have some form of combat defense, and luckily, I have that in spades. Nedra, huh. I know you did not hurt this gentleman, but please apologize. She's like... Like, trying to t untweak herself. She's like, Sir, what are you? I want to do that again, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just say I'm very battle hardy. She oh. just really oh. likes fighting. I can see that! And it seems that you said you were going to a uh, um, fight today, as yeah, we yeah, discussed before. Uh... You have a real contender on your hands. Well, she is my best student. Now, I have a question, son. Yes, sir. Why don't you throw a punch at me? Oh, are you, you sure? Okie dokie. Um, I, I mean, you're... Big sip of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only fair that your student got a punch. Why don't the teacher get one so I can gauge it? Now, fair enough. Money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see how this goes. Well, so I, I strike my battle pose. Just <laughs> and I roll a d6 now for punches. Pull it out. Uh, do you want me to roll twice or just multiply the dice times two? Multiply times two for now. Alright, so that's uh, 15. 15? <laughs> straight your, to your straight, hand doesn't hurt. Yeah, you straight, straight to his frame. Just <laughs> yeah. So you felt knockback from this man. Like there is some sturdy bone structure on this boy. Like it felt like you know how when you watch pe uh, plexiglass kind of like wobble when it takes a really hard impact. That's how your hand feels <laughs> after you hit him. But you do feel like you hit something. Unlike Nedra, where she hit into this man, but then her hand started to hurt. You feel a little bit of, like, you feel... I felt some give. <laughs> you felt some give, and you felt like, you feel like your hands, you, like, you just go, ow. Yeah, yeah, my, fi my fingers got numb from yeah, punching. Yeah, from punching him. Gore just goes, <coughs> Well. You that are, was quite a punch. You are quite sturdy. I would love to spar with you sometime, if possible. Oh, I'm not, even though I do have combat training, I'm more an advisor to my men. Fair enough. My Blood just... <laughs> trickles uh, down out of his mouth. Um, is, that, is that okay? You got a little... You made me bleed. My, my bad. <clears throat> That's impressive. Thanks. Pats you on the back. <laughs> yeah, um, hold on, because... <laughs> 
He does a small little hearty child's pat. <laughs> yeah, let me fucking... Okay, so what's your AC? 18. <laughs> On the floor. I'm prone? You are prone. <laughs> For... <laughs> 10 points of damage. What the fuck is this man? Can I borrow your pencil? I don't want to be marking up with you. Pen you, you, you honestly, you felt like yeah, someone one. just that was like the inside of his palm, like where the knuckle end of where the digits start in the inside of your palm. He hit you with that, and it felt like someone just sledged you with a hammer. Oh, you are a hardy man. I warned you. <laughs> All of a sudden, you see Serpil just like turn the corner. She's like, Is there a fight going on? She's like, Ready to grab out her great like scimitar. And Gore just, like, holds his hands up, like, no, it's fine. We're good. Just a bit of a scrap. Oh, I get up. Just a fun show of strength from three battle war battle-hardened heroes. Very fun. She'll accept that. She looks like, she looks over at Nedra and Wake, and she's just like, hmm, maybe I should give it a swing. Oh, well, if you turn up at the arena today, you'll get to see what she's made out of. She's facing... Uh, some lawyer's champion, Edward Caster. Whoever he could find. Ed, Ca she, she's trying to, like, piece together the words. Remember, she her her common is not great. Yeah. She's well, like... That's a name. Yeah. Ed Cast... Oh. I overheard from my men that he hired one Barabbas Bonebite. Hear that, Nedra? Your opponent has a name. Barabbas Bonebite. I want to punch Barabbas bone bite. I want to break his face. I want to put him. I want to put him in the ground. I want to step whoa, on whoa, him. Whoa. You, you're you're hearing the infernal come out a little bit. The coffee's fucking still in her Nedra, bloodstream. Center. Focus. Okay, I'll put my center on. I'll put my center on. My center's here. It's it's going here. It's going places. I'm I'm I like your over center. There. That's a really nice flower over there. That's a really cool it, flower. Hello, Mr. Gore. How, when did you get here? <laughs> coffee does not work with Nedra. I thought I was her centaur. I, I warned you. <laughs> I give her a bit of like the the healing. Uh, well, I guess my last bit, uh, my last piece of healing. Uh, <laughs> you spent uh, rock your last candy. piece of candy. That's not gonna help her out. Oh, I thought she broke her hand. No, she didn't break it. Okay, she okay. just like she just like reeled back, like she felt physical pain from hitting him. Gotcha. Okay, I thought it was an actual injury. Oh no, it's not an actual injury. And also, I'm not gonna let you walk away from this with ten points of damage. This is just for show. Oh, I'm fine. Like I'm not doing combat today. I think. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> Presumably. Presumably. Yeah, we. I, I, I have no intention of fighting today, So unless o I have to. <laughs> Oso kind of like turns the corners like, oh, well, good morning to all of you. Hi. Good morning, Mr. Oso. I say like readjusting my hat as I'm standing up. Would you like some coffee? Warning, it's very hot. No, thank you. Um, it's, it's actually uh, quite customary that one, once business is concluded that we would have our breakfast. Oh. It appears that our, our dear prince was... Not very uh, attuned to the time shift, as it were, from coming over here. Was was your prince on Vanden Island too? No, he was from Eber. He we came from Ibercal. Okay, I was confused. Uh, your Highness, please come this way. Let me get the descriptor for this boy. Here he is. So this is uh, in enter Oslim Kal. A 12-year-old Azamar with the appearance of a humanoid boy with three pairs of wings sprouting from his back. Oh, man, I can't fight him. <laughs> his very presence exudes raw heat. You, uh, remember how oh, all the Azamar in here kind of, like, give off heat? Lots of it coming from this guy. Oh, like, you, you can almost probably see, like, the raw physical, like, you know how, like, heat makes, like, a mirage, like, look in the yeah. desert? Just him turning the corner, you're Sweltering seeing that, the air and him. it almost makes like it almost makes the air around him look like almost like a blue flame. This is the worst time to be wearing makeup. <laughs> Shh. That was an internal monologue. <laughs> he is wearing very, very like very regal robes. He is wearing a white and red outfit. He is adorned in what looks like emeralds, and uh, for anyone who has seen like the. Effigy of Salima back in uh, Jake, uh, Eber, not Eber College, I'm sorry, Jahal Cove. 
Uh, he is adorned in figureheads of her from his shoulders going down to his chest. <clears throat> Again, this is the apparently this is a prince, and he's twelve year old angel kid. He kind of like steps before you. You don't see like any like physical features because his kind of robes kind of like go all over his body. You're just seeing the face, but you do you can tell that like where there are little bits of his hair showing, it's flames of fire. I bow and I nudge Nedra, like just like respectful. Yeah, I, I at also the do waist. A, a humble. <laughs> she headbutts herself into the table. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I look over, just <laughs> very humble. Aunt Oslem kind of just like bounces back at that, like, oh. She's very enthusiastic. I see, and also, she have, she's of the infernal bloodline. A little. Partly. Hmm. That's rather interesting. I didn't know I'd actually be meeting one. This is the first time I've ever seen one of a darker bloodline than one of myself. My Older brothers and my father had told me a great deal of them. I've just never seen one before. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Your Majesty. Nedra. Hi, hi, I'm Nedra. Like, as blood's pouring down her forehead. <laughs> uh, I, I, I grab, like, a little, like, rag out of my pocket and just kind of, like, wipe the blood off her. As you can see, when it comes to, uh, let's, let's say, manners and, uh, you know, tact, her, her and her people may be a little lacking, but when it comes to raw strength and power... I feel like there's there's no greater find. I can sense that, and I, from, uh, from Serpil and Oso's word, I hear that she will also be contending in the uh, fight arena. Yes, we're yeah, all yeah a little excited. later on today, noon actually. Hmm, that sounds like that might be a fun outing. Oso, does my schedule allow for such a thing? Well, Your Majesty, we have to discuss with uh, Miss Calliope here. Yes, yes, of course. And that is a very pressing matter. He actually turns to Clypey. Clypey's like... <laughs> looks over to you. It's royalty! Royalty! Yeah, and he wants to talk to you. He's, remember, you're the ambassador of she your looks people. Like she, she looks like she's about to explode at this point. Yes, Miss Calliope comes from uh, Venom Island. Uh, until recently, it has been cursed, but... Our crew managed to help lift that curse, and uh, now they're trying to get back on their feet, and could really use your help. Of course. An island near the Providence of Iverkal is under our protection. I apologize that your island was in such disarray, and it appears that my older brother was not quite so attuned to the ways of people's woes outside of our own kingdom. It's very discerning, and my younger brother, the king, will be quite disheartened to hear this. Your younger brother? Oso kind of holds his uh, little hand up. He's like, ah, yes, in the Eber Kal society, the Kal's lineage passes on kingship to those who are of new bloodline. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, I, I once was the king until my father also had a newborn son. It's gotta be really awkward taking orders from a baby. Oh no, I hold no ill will against my younger well, brother. No, I, un I understand that that's your people's way, but like, is is bring me a bottle like the law of the land at times or? No, <laughs> <laughs> she just, just just like Oso's just like what? Are you serious? Just like <laughs> I don't know. I've only known human babies. <laughs> oh, oh, like like. He just like laughs at that. No, it's it's. Quite, she, he looks and sees that you're like just like. Oh my god, are you fucking what real? What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's like I've heard every young quip at me at, from every other kingdom. It's quite all right. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what royalty even means. Is it like you're that blue around you? Is it royal blue? What's? I'm confused. My people are what other races would dub as angels. We, I do not like this title as it seems to give my people some sort of grand title that only my older kin would feel is befitting of us, but I'd rather our relations with other countries be a lot more open and a lot less intimidating. We are from a noble bloodline. We actually are the closest thing to immortal, uh, we are the closest thing to mortal 
creatures that are not of acolyte stature, but close to of that of Salima. We are pretty much her walking bloodline. That is quite impressive. Yes, and I know it is very overbearing. I do take notice that you are a little, yes. A little warm. A little, yes. <laughs> I apologize. Our bloodline also means that we are one with fire itself, summer incarnate. We are the, we are the walking suns of this entire, pl of this landscape, and I understand that that could be very overbearing for creatures. A touch. But it's, it's fine. I'll, 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 I will deal. And we thank you for, we thank you for dealing, as you say. Again, this kid's, uh, this kid's comment is a little broken as well, but not as bad as Serple's. Right. So, Miss Calliope, he turns over to Calliope, and she's just like, she like grabs Yaka like, he's talking to me, he's talking to me. And Yaka's just like, <laughs> bitch, what? <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no, shut up. Yeah, she still kind of, like, has a little bit of, uh... There's a little bit of bad blood <laughs> some, between some them. sass. Yeah, there's some sass between the deer and the snake. Uh, uh, pretty much he's just like, oh, well, we'll, we'll get to discussing. I'd like to speak to you about, like, what, uh, what is needed, what the calls can offer to get your, your people back on your feet, and we overheard that you also wish to trade, which this is something we can absolutely do, uh... He feels that it's more of a minutia to talk about this thing, but he doesn't look like he wants to talk about this stuff. He kind of looks like he wants to actually go to this fight pit that you were speaking of now. He's kind of more interested in going out and doing things. He's a kid. And, yeah, he's a kid, but he also knows that he's duty-bound considering of who he is. But uh, Oso also notices this in him, and he's like, Sire, I understand that this is that this matter of business is trifling, but you must understand, if we do wish to keep an open mind with, and open communications with other uh, neighboring islands, this is most likely the course of action and will unfortunately break into your schedule and your trade with the Boardwalk Company. And he's like, yes, I understand. It's unfortunate, but I would like to get business out of the way so I can at least have a little bit of fun on the island. Oh, you have a meeting at the Boardwalk Company. We were thinking about hitting up that place later. When were you going to go? He looks over to Oso, who's just like, we we don't feel it's quite right to speak about the, about the prince's schedule. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Sooner or later, we do wish to have this... Uh, I will say this. We do wish to at least have this deal finished up within three days so the prince can have time to himself. Well, three days is plenty of time. Well, I don't see the fear in telling them why I wish to make this deal. It's a gift for our new king. Oh. My, I wish to at least show my youngest, or the king himself, as I should would give proper respect to, I want to give him a proper gift. I wish to see that his reign is brought in with a smile of the sun rather than a dim harshness of heat. Absolutely understandable. Now, forgive my ignorance, Your Highness, but uh, I, I'm just unaware of your customs. What, what kind of gifts are, are befitting a new king? Well, that's why we seem to have a nice rapport with the Fine Day Boardwalk Company. They are very, very... <clears throat> excuse me. Hiccup. <laughs> they, uh, they are... Fine, uh, they are fine crafters of magical arts for luxury and toys and all sorts of entertainment. Something my people very much like. Hmm. While we are a trade, uh, while we are trade, business does rag on us a little bit. And I feel that this island that was set up by the Fine Day Boardwalk Company is a fine way for our people to not only enter trade in a more jovial manner, but it also gives my people a chance to escape from the harshness of reality. I see. So pretty much what he's telling you is that uh, the, uh, they, like, they like trade, they like making sure that they have a lot of money and they like to spread their influence around and like say like, hey, we're the calls, the blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But they like, it gets dreary for them. So 
entertainment, like anything of luxury or great value. He's trying to say like my people are a little bit of pompous dickheads, and I don't <laughs> I don't want to see I don't want people to see it that way. But who am I kidding? We love fun. Fu- They're angel the people. In life. Yeah. Quick question. Uh, on these blink pyramids, were we informed at their effective range? Like how far away something has to be from the other? Or is it like nearly infinite? Nearly infinite. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> curiouser and curiouser. I might have a plan tinkering. Uh, if it's uh, if you guys don't have any other questions uh, for Oslim, he's going to take Calliope to the side and discuss matters. All right. You, are you okay handling this on your own, Calliope? You got okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank right. you. I'm gonna go get Nedra so ready for her fight. We'll see you at the fight bit later. Uh if if I get a chance to, I will try to, but it's, it's Oh limited. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I I really quickly like pull Calliope aside. You know, uh, Oslim, I'm sure like as royalty he would find a great gesture if you invited him to go see the Coliseum and fight with you. I I think that would be just a great kind of like a, a bridge building moment for your peoples. Anyway, just a suggestion. And by the way, she's doing this like in the open. She's <laughs> she has no fucking like perception of how her actions are going around the room, and Oslim's just enjoying every second of it. Oso oh, smiling at it. Serpil's just like, oh god, another fan. <laughs> and Gore is just giggling like a like a schoolboy at all this dumb shit. <laughs> I, I politely nod to the to the group and just basically go. Well, we all also need to be getting on our way. Uh, Eloy here is looking to to enter a battle of the bands, as it were, for the for the Bard College, and uh, we got to head that way pretty soon. Oh, I was not aware of this. What time is that? Uh, that uh, Oslim is saying this. He's just like, normally that's far more prepared and far more announced. Normally, there's time given for such a thing. Oh no. There's- <laughs> I was supposed to get more time. I could have used so much more. That's why I was so mad at that. That's why I was so mad that I didn't get to practice yesterday. Yeah, well, we we had we did have a lot of fun in the bazaar yesterday, though. So you know, Oslim some- kind of like holds his hand up. If it is time you seek, I can put in a word to at least grant you that. <gasps> that that would be, that would be great. I got so many ideas, but I I don't want to rush it. I wanna I want to do it right. This is my first ever battle of bard man. Abs- I absolutely. don't believe it would be a, not a terrible idea to at least introduce yourself to the headmaster. <laughs> this <laughs> this is royalty to Eloy. So <laughs> yeah, y- yeah. He's he's the best music man in the whole city, right? Yeah, I want to yeah, meet yeah. him. <laughs> oh, so please make it so. He like looks over to him and Oso just like pulls out this giant laundry list that goes from one side of the room to the other. Oh so please make it so so. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! That's good! That's really good! Damn it, that's really good! <laughs> You're welcome. Feel feel free to take that. In the montage later when you say it, people can say you joke stole from me, but this is me giving you permission. Yeah. <laughs> It's not stolen. I was given permission. Don't worry. We didn't. Write, don't worry. We didn't roll a natural one anywhere near here. So there's yeah. no compilation. <laughs> uh, yeah. With that. Uh, oh, but by the way, uh, Eloy, I want you to roll me a quick perception check. All right. Thirteen. Thirteen. Hmm. All right, Ezra. I need your roll perception check. <laughs> Someone didn't quite catch it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Not any better. <laughs> Wake! Wake. Uh, that would be a 17. 17. Ever since they started talking, like the deal was actually brought up, Ziaka is very pensive. Of course she is. Like, no, like about to say something pensive. Oh. I- I'm, I'm going to go walk over to her. Don't worry, I have a plan. I grow, pa- I grow impatient of waiting. I have a plan. (laughs) We'll talk about this later. This, this Oslim seems very cordial in letting people in on secrets or information. Why not we ask? I feel like the more we pry, the more it looks like we are going to be the ones that have taken it. That's the point. She's very mad. <laughs> She's very upset. Look, I made you a promise. 
Have you seen me break a promise yet? I cannot say I have. And you're not going to. Very well. Your word will be kept for now. My word will be kept. She's in the not. Long she, run you, too. you you can you can roll an insight. Yeah. Well, I was gonna I was gonna roll a persuasion, but well, insight's probably better for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a nat twenty, so nat 20. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just roll something real quick for her. Okay. Her frustration is more of a one of desperation more than it is just her actually being like just legit upset about this waiting. She's just like, it's not desperation of the situation. It's not desperation of anger of the situation. It's desperation of anger that this situation might slip by and she'll not get what she came here for. Look, I, 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 I tell her in confidence, like, tell everyone, like, go, go around, find as many of our people as you can and tell them to meet us at the ship after the fight today. I have a plan. Very well. If you'll excuse me, Ziaka says as she uh, just slithers on off. I assume everybody else is making small talk and ignoring <laughs> us during that. <laughs> I'm going to roll something real quick. Humana, humana, humana. Can, I, can I roll stealth? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. At least that's against something. Uh, that is a uh, modified 20. Wait, hold on. Do I have proficiency in stealth? Because that's either a modified 20 or a 23. 23. You hear someone from behind your head just, like, hovering over you. Ooh, that seemed like trouble in paradise. Ah, uh, a little bit. She's, uh, she misses, her. she's a little homesick. Oh, dear. I can understand that. The poor thing. Where is she from? Oh, uh, she's from Jahal Cove. Uh, one of the islands off of Jahal Cove, actually, is where her people reside. Hmm. Never visited before would quite be the reason why I'm not so sure about most of your motley crew, like the Gator Man. He is also from Jahal Cove. He's from the bayou in Jahal Cove. Can't quite say I've ever seen one of such rotund size. He's a very good hunter. Normally here, that's more in the tale. I hear that the lizard folk here are more of the bearded dragon persuasion. Well, I'm sure he'll get along swimmingly with them if he doesn't hunt them. <laughs> Is that a common trope? <laughs> he likes hunting. He normally doesn't hunt sentience, though. Normally. Yes. <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I, I know. I know. No, no, it's All fine. Right. Uh, that's, a ten, that's a ten. He, pet, he blows it off. He's fine. <laughs> now, I know you have a very busy schedule. Yeah, we got to get in costume and get ready. But tell me, what are your plans afterwards? Oh, uh, I don't know. We're going to meet up with the crew and discuss our next port of call at our ship. I see. If you don't mind an old sea dog prying, where would that take you? Well, I believe uh, one of our next port. Well, one of our crew has business in. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, one of our. Yeah, one of our uh, crew has business in Ebercall, but our true business lies up in uh, South Zealous. I'm not sure which one we'd want to hit first. Hmm. Well, how about this? Why not you ship off that little friend of yours with the calls back over to Eber, uh, back over to Eberkal, while you get to come with me to South Zealous? I need to report back anyway. Ooh. Well, we have business at both. Uh, we'll have to discuss it with our friend that has business there. Sounds great. However, there is a little bit of a work side to this, if it were. If you oh, could help me. Of course there is. What can we do for you? Oh, don't worry. We don't have to discuss it here. <laughs> I'd like it if you would come to Fort Dismock. We can speak about it there. Speak to Gore at Fort Dismock. Was there any time you were looking for to, to set up this, this talk at Fort Dismock? As soon as possible. Sounds great. Well, as soon as we get done with our meeting at our ship, we will hop on over. Sounds great! 
man just, just absolutely giant, i'm doing my best teeth. not to uh, doing my best not to show my pointy teeth hey i want you to roll a perception check <laughs> Uh, that is a 16. You don't want to show your pointy teeth, but you can't help but feel that one of his canines look a little sharp. One of them. Um, you just barely, like, you can't, you can't say you can pinpoint it, but it almost looked like it. Well, we know he walks around in the daylight, so. <laughs> Was it an upper or a bottom? Upper. Oh, good. We'll see you there. Have a good day. You as well, sir. Marches out. I Meanwhile, like a fun faux salute, like just trying to be playful and friendly. He looks over to you and he just goes, "Oh, it's the right arm, son." Huh, my but mistake. good effort. <laughs> roll athletics. Oh, you, oh, you get to roll no, for I'm it. I'm sorry. You know what? <laughs> I apologize. What's your AC? Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of the c- combat-driven ten members in our... Ah, ah. Really knocks the wind out of you, huh? <laughs> a little bit. I help him back up on don't, his feet. D- again, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about HP. <laughs> hmm. All right, Nedger, we got to go get... We got to go get dressed. Dressed? Yes, yes. Okay, we'll, we'll go get dressed. I'll get my mask on. I'll put on everything. We'll, we'll go punch the things. We'll put the, but what if I put a brass knuckle on my fist? I'll do that, too. I... Do you want some more coffee in case she starts crashing before the fight? I open up my water skin. Yeah, sure. Hot, 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 hot. Cool it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't tell it what temperature you wanted. It's molten coffee. I'll be more specific next time I make coffee for everybody. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that needs to get done here is your guys' thing is a little bit earlier than the fight. Mm. So we're going to split the party here for a hot second, unless you right. want to go with them. <laughs> Uh, Nedra and I are going to get ready. We're going to get all dressed up in our... Uh, I'm going to get on my, like, fishman helmet so I don't have to wear this goddamn makeup anymore. Uh, I'm still going to keep it on under there, but at least this way, if it melts away, it's not going to be as bad. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going we're to get, get in our showman battle garb. Okay. Uh, you two have, like, maybe two hours to go roam about if you want to do something before uh, having to meet this fellow, and then you'll have, like, another hour afterwards to get ready for that. So... Based on the location where everyone else is, like I said before, uh, Ziaka went off back to the ship. Uh, Calliope's talking to the Kals, so they're out for now. You have Nedra with you. Uh, yeah, Nedra's with me. Yeah, Nedra's with Chilling you. out here. Uh, Skrung, you don't know where he is, but he's somewhere... Mystery. Yeah, he's somewhere near, like, uh, a bunch of, like, other just rando shops. Uh, a red and Gulfer decide to go to the bazaar. And uh, Onslow's over by the food court, and Risf and uh, Pliskin are over by the merchant's port. Well, I look at Eloy and go, Well, Eloy, we're about to meet someone very important. Uh, what kind of clothes do you have, perhaps, to, 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 make a, to make a good first impression? It's not a make or break kind of thing, but, you know, really helps to, to sell who you are. I mean, I got these, and then I got that cloak with all the feathers what we made. That's good stage attire, and I'm going to roll roll perception real quick. I'm going to need your help, Zito, telling me what exactly I'm seeing, but I'm just going to, like, I guess actually it would be investigation, but I'm going to be, like, looking at his clothes up and down be like, is this is this suitable for meeting someone who is, uh... Who, you know, like, just because of the area you're in? Yeah. Uh, okay, so describe... I'm going to actually need both of you to help me out with that. Okay. Describe to me what the outfit looks like. It is some schlubby ass peasant gear. <laughs> it is just Eloy's everyday clothes. It would never and have a loincloth, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. It would never have occurred to him to change. It's just like rough spun, rawhide laces. Also, it's the same shit he's been wearing since he left home, so it's like travel stained and kind of tattered. Investigation. <laughs> uh 15. This is some shady shit. If you walk out in broad daylight, every nobleman in this entire fucking place is going to think you are the poorest people on the planet. Question, has it ever been washed? <laughs> no, none of you guys have ever washed your clothes. Hey, hey I've got two baths. I That's have fair. two things of soap. 
<laughs> you you balked when I bought it. <laughs> but no, I, but have you? But have you have stated you you're going to use it? I mean, right. the, uh, I guess uh, I guess the implication is I still have it. So uh, yeah, you have it, but that doesn't mean you used it. <laughs> I was going to say. I guess that implies that I haven't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. When, when's the last time the Sky Spirits uh, sent that free clothes wash and juice from the sky? Oh, boy. Rain! <laughs> yeah, that's what that's called. <laughs> All right, Eloy, then I know what we're doing before we head up there. Let's get you decked out in something fancy, something nice. You do remember that there is a spa. Okay, I also, I had an idea. I, I need to find the biggest spotlight we can find. You think we can buy one of those while we's out and about, mm-hmm. too? You know what? We can definitely look for one, at least. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so, uh, if you want to find something that can do that, you're either going to have to go to the bazaar, or, uh, let me double-check something. There is the Spiral Lamp, which is a mageware store that might suit your needs. Hmm. If we're going by the bazaar, that's that's where Red and Golfer went, right? I, I realized I never finished finding the best singer in the crew. Oh, you're right. And I, I think having a singer to accompany me would really help. A crooner would be helpful. All right, uh, let's uh, let's check by the bazaar and see and see if we can one find them, two find clothes, and three find the spotlight. All before we got to be there. Yeah. I will say this. Uh, do you see the little number three on that map? Uh, right there. Yes. That is the Mageware store. Okay. So it's the closest to you. Okay, so we could hit that first. Yeah. All right, so dab on him, <laughs> dab on him, Ezra. <laughs> Open that door. <laughs> Split out! <laughs> what magics we got? All right, so let me quickly read over this because, again, our mods have a little bit, if not a major bit, of a hand in creating some of the characters for this map. <laughs> Go for I, it. I feel bad because, in r- retrospect, I've never asked anyone's name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for that in real life, so don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you, who I've met like eight times now, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> who are you again? I'm Pliskin. Uh, <laughs> you're the you, shark? Have you been on Eber call long? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, dude, what brought you here? I remember you, sort of. <laughs> How'd you get here from Jaco? Jaco? And, and, now, and now the best thing is, is now we just have a picture of Antfish on the on the one token. <laughs> it does. It looks so much it like does. Antfish. It super does look like Antfish. It's amazing. Looks like Antfish with a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Try to sell mage. Where's the... Do, 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 do. But yeah, Eloy, it's going to be great. We're going to get you some great clothes. Uh, you'll make an excellent first impression because I'm going to be honest... The, the the sound, the music you make, that's like 80 to 90% of the equation. The other 10% is how you present yourself. It's what you look like. It's what the people see. That's absolutely right, sir! As the door bursts open, and there's a wind genasi just like, Welcome oh, to hello, Legitimate sir. Larry's Shop! <laughs> legitimate? This already sounds good! Nothing to question there, Legitimate Larry. That's I right! That's you. And here at the Spiral Lamp, Legitimate Larry is here to sell all your mage wares! This is about the fifth or sixth time Legitimate Larry had to open his shop. But it's the sixth time nonetheless! Hey. He's, he's had lots of practice! Yeah. He must be real good at it by now! Get in here, you <laughs> horseman, you! <laughs> I'm gonna roll Common mistake, but that's alright, I'm not offended. I'm gonna roll uh... Fantastic, it's okay. <laughs> Everyone thinks the Legitimate Larry's a living tornado sometimes. It's silly! <laughs> Real Get quick. in here and buy something. <laughs> Real quick, Ezra's used to kind of conning and tricking people. He's just gonna. The name Legitimate Larry is already <laughs> sending red flags like into his roll brain. insight. Thank you. <laughs> Far as I know, nobody's ever died of a, of a tornado on Old Lady Big Rock Mountain. He gets an eight. <laughs> legitimate Larry. There's no fucking way this man isn't legitimate. It's in his goddamn name. It's in his name. It's Ezra. his first name. <laughs> and this is the sixth time doing this. <laughs> Clearly, this is the best option. You know, I questioned it first, but Legitimate Larry, you seem pretty legit. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Legitimate Larry thanks you for his legitimacy. <laughs> see, most people would have quit after the second or third try, but he is too legit to quit. Uh. Do you see this man? Do you see this beautiful man? He grabs you by your face and turns you to him. <laughs> This is a man who knows his stuff. I know. He's <laughs> kind of a bit of a protege partner of mine. <laughs> so, what can Legitimate Larry do for you? I need a big old spotlight. A big old spotlight? Now, how big are we talking? As you walk inside this man's, like, building, it's it looks like a mage's tower. Like, you've seen, like, other people's tower. Ta- when, obviously, like, a giant spiral tower <laughs> that... 
might stick out a little. Yeah, it might stick out a little, but this is like part of the course in this world. The magic is a big thing. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm thinking. I want something so big that, you know, like a, a ship sail on a frigate, it could light up the whole thing at night for the whole town to see. Just bright as day. You want the sun on your ship. Legitimate Larry loves this idea. <laughs> now, here's the thing. How much are you looking to spend for Legitimate Larry to give you a really good gauge? Ezra? Yeah? How much do how much am I willing to spend? I I'm, mean I mean I mean legitimate Larry could sell you the scrolls of lights just to for anyone who doesn't actually know how to do lighting for your little show you wish to put on, like this fine gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how to rig a light, sir? I mean <laughs> then of course you don't! All of these would be best for you, but you, sir, you look like someone who could really know how to rig a light super well. I didn't know I knew how to do that! Um, you see? You're already <laughs> learning things about yourself you never knew, only here at Legitimate Larry's. Come, this way, let me show you the crystal gazes. He, uh, motions- we'll, we'll figure out price later, this man's amazing! <laughs> The, the, this man brings you over to a giant rack of crystals, and they are just emanating different colors. There's one that emanates pink. There's one that emanates purple. There's one that actually kind of, like, strobes into different colors because there's stuff floating inside of it. <gasps> that one, that one, that one! I never, I never even thought about colored lights. That's even better! Ah, you see, you are a man with taste! And a man with taste only buys the best from Legitimate Larry's Spiral Lamp Store! This was the magic way. You know what? <laughs> Just run with it. Yeah. Looks it's great. How, Ask him how much. How much is that one? Oh, for the color of your fancy, for it to switch out. Hmm. I'd say for a man of your stature with one who would want something this beautiful, two grand. This is when Ezra steps in. Two grand, you say. Now, for, for, your, for your average entertainer, that seems like a fantastic price. A bargain, even. Ah, your entertainers. That's amazing. Yes, and that's what I was going to bring my next point. Our plan for these lights are not only to be use them, using them in an upcoming Battle of the Bands at the Bard's College, where there will sure to be a huge audience, we'll also be using these lights as our... You're planning to do... The battle with the headmaster. Oh, well, forget these then. Come this way. <laughs> He's got even better ones. Oh, well, let's go. <laughs> just like you actually watch as it, like you just see the wind pick up around him. Like his head is actually made of wind. It's just <laughs> gusting all about. This man is just so erratic and so full of energy. <laughs> You could just feel it oozing <laughs> off of because every time he like stops, the wind hushes and then explodes around him. He pulls a lever and the entire fucking wall spins. This is the thing, something very similar. <laughs> the comedy character in a Disney movie. <laughs> uh, so not only are you seeing like even more crystals, there are now like even bigger decorations. There are now devices that look like skulls with spotlights coming out of them. Spooky. Some of them are like literal what look like crystal like butterflies that give off a shape. Some of them look like dragons. Some of them look like swords. Now you're getting into the whole like the lights that can give decals, the lights that can like strobe into not one, not two, but looking at it, five random colors. It's now, this shit now looks like you want even more flair on your spotlight. You are now making a symbol for yourself. All right. I'm, I'm not so much concerned with shapes. I just need to make... I like the colors. The colors are real good. And I, just, I need to make sure it's bright enough for all to see. And that it can light up that whole big sail. My friend. Legitimate Larry thinks you might be one who knows this, but... Are you aware of... Fairies? They're, they're like the, they're the boats that you take back and forth, right? No, 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 he means the, the creature fairy, like your, like your fairy fire. Oh, oh, right, like, like, like my little, hold on, I'll show you. Fairy fire, start up everything a glowing, like you, that? You watch as every lamp in the entire vicinity melds 
into what looks like the shape of your fairy fire, and I need you guys to uh, roll me a con save real quick. <laughs> that's, that's so bright! 13. Because with what looks like from this map, what'd you, uh, what'd you get? Uh, seven. Seven? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, you're watching as, like, the light just fucking envelops this entire room. You are bombarded by not just the light of colors and not just the shapes of everything. You're seeing particle effects now appear. You have, <laughs> ju you have just fucking hit the filter effect on a Photoshop image. <laughs> That's amazing! I didn't know my fairy fires could do that! It's reacting to it, my boy! Reacting to it! Depending on the type of magic you can cast and knowing that you are a bardsman. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but screw it, we're going with that. <laughs> Sounds oh, legitimate. It's legit. it's legitimate, of course! <laughs> like legitimate Larry. <laughs> Legitimate Larry now wants to know if you are going to be using your magic against the headmaster You're going to need the best kind of equipment out there, and I tell you this my friend this equipment Complements any kind of magic you can throw at it This is that does, great. That does sound great, but once again ask him how much it costs. How, how much are we looking at? Hmm. With you knowing that you have Fairy fire now. That would be even better. What if I sold you this crystal here? This crystal not only gives the colors red, blue, and yellow, it also creates small illusions of dragons. Ooh. All right. I can work with that. Five grand. Now, legitimate Larry, you, obviously, you're a discerning yes, businessman. Yes, that is my and, name. And you have a, you, you clearly have an eye for talent, uh, However, if we're going to be using this in our shows, this is ample opportunity, f f not only for us, but for you to advertise your wares. You I, feel with, I feel with such a thing like that, with our, with, we're practically becoming business partners in this. We're almost advertising you. Oh, Legitimate Larry is well known all over the place. I mean, why do you think I'm doing this for the sixth time ever? And it's because of my... Mm. Popularity! But for your sixth grand opening, truly the final and greatest and grandest opening that you've been capable of, I think it's it's only fair that uh, you, you said you said you said five grand? I five think, grand. Uh, I, I let me let me ask you something, legitimate Larry. Ask and you shall receive. How many how many headmasters have been taken down by by your magic crystals? Roll insight. <laughs> I'm listening to this too, so I shall also be insightful. Nine. Twelve. Now, the headmaster is one of a very valor bard college, and you know how all those stories of heroes and whatnot sling really well with the common folk. But I tell you this, my friend, if you use legitimate Larry's gear, I tell you this, you will beat him with no Flaws whatsoever, and you believe them? Okay. And see, see when everybody's when you, everybody out there sees me, sees me up on stage, and and he's the headmaster of the whole college. And when I tell him, you know how I did that? Legitimate Larry helped me. Yeah. Everybody's gonna want. Legitimate your Larry was the one who helped you. Of course, I'm gonna be so fucking rich. Exactly. And with that kind of attitude, don't you think that maybe just a like a sliver, a sliver of a price cut, perhaps down to let's say. Mm, legitimate four, Larry is four grand, and you we may have a deal. Mmm. Roll me persuasion. You don't get advantage because you fell for his insight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <darn. laughs> uh, Sixteen. Legitimate Larry could do that, but making these crystals do specific things is a rather expensive ordeal. Legitimate Larry likes your moxie and wishes to help you in any way he can, but for the Legitimate Larry to make a profit on this, he really needs to keep it at five grand. Well, let me put it to you this way. I can tell you're taking a risk, right? You don't know the what- The biggest is six time risks! Exactly, exactly. You're a businessman. You don't want to take risks with your money, but- but what if we could make it a guarantee? All right, we make it. Where are you going, if, with this, Eli? <laughs> if I don't beat the headmaster, 
then, then why would you give me a discount? It wouldn't make no sense. But if I do beat them, make it three grand. I'll pay full price. If I don't win, you're not out nothing. But if I do win, that's two grand worth of free advertising. Roll persuasion. Just pay him an 11. <laughs> Sorry, friend. I can't do that. I would love to. I, My friend, I, I assure you, legitimate Larry has all the confidence in the world in you. I am certain you, a... You would defeat the headmaster <laughs> with no problem whatsoever. But legitimate Larry does run a business. And businesses... You're in the calls, my friend. You remember, we're... we're this is business capital of the entire section of this entire island. And I can't do that. I just can't. It pains me. You can see the pain on legitimate Larry's face. Look at this pain. His, pain. his, ha his head is now bald because the gust just stops. <laughs> pain, says Larry. May I have a moment with my associate, Mr. Larry? Of course, my friend. Take your time. Please, look around. We have much more wares for you apart from this. There's more I could show you. I could show you the world, even, in this magic lamp. Ezra? Yeah? I got 5,000 gold right in my pocket. I say we give it to him. <sighs> he seems like he's not going to budge. We can afford it. We can swing it. It's just, I really wanted to see if we could cut, cut a deal, but... I, I could tell that. I tried my hardest. No, I, and I honestly, appreciate it. And you know what? I'm glad we. I'm glad we had that wavelength. I'm glad we shared that. You know what? That that alone is worth the two thousand gold we're spending extra on what I tried to spend. <laughs> what I tried to get us. Just realizing that if if I'm there to try and strike a deal, you're ready to go with it. That's you know what knowledge All right. earned. All right, we'll we'll get him next time. I like it. All right, Mr. Larry, five thousand gold. You got yourself a deal. Hand over the gold. <laughs> now I want you to pick a crystal that will create a spotlight of three colors of your choosing and create a minor illusion of your choosing at the same amplification. Mm. Here's the problem. Out of character, I know that you can combine red glue. <laughs> <laughs> you can cr combine colors to make more colors. <laughs> but, yeah. roll, a yeah. roll, roll a knowledge to see if you know that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Four. Hey, Colors are really pretty. I'd, I'd be there to to possibly. Yeah, yeah. More. Give that a roll as well. Ooh, nineteen. You are about to blow Eloy's mind with that concept. <laughs> Go. <laughs> now, Eloy, be careful in your color choices because if you, I don't know if you know this, but certain colors complement each other and can create new colors when they intersect. So. <laughs> I just want I just want to, to do this. I just want to make sure that this is now the face when you say that on legitimate Larry's face. <laughs> it's, it's like color compliments. Fuck. <laughs> so so something like let's say uh, like you like the color purple. Let's say that if, is my favorite color. If red and blue come together, that creates purple. So if you get one that at least two of those colors are red and blue. You'll have purple. And do you like, let's say, green? That's another great color. If you have yellow come into that blue, that creates green. And if you have that red go into that yellow, it creates orange. You see, kids, you don't have to do color theory if you go to art school. Fuck that. The wonders will show you. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Making colors touch creates new colors. It's a beautiful metaphor. Oh, man. So that's like... That's like three more free colors. Yeah. So if as so long as we do if we play our cards right and figure out what colors we want the most, we can figure out what three lights we need. Okay, I definitely need green. Okay. So that's, that's that's green. So that's blue and yellow. We definitely want that. Okay. Blue and yellow. And you said purple's your favorite, so red might just be the obvious other one here. All right. I, I, I think we got it. I think we got our three. I like that. And then in varying degrees we can create different It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the minor illusion effect you want to have on it? What shapes do you like? <laughs> Remember, it's minor illusion on the projector, so it will make that on on whatever you're spotting the light on. And this light will reach to 120 feet. How many charges does it have a day? Or is it... It's going to be one for like six hours. Okay. One per six? That's yeah. Fine. Once, a, once a day for six hours, this will spot. Well it's, well, it's reacting to his magic, right? So wouldn't it be... 
kind of involved on what he is casting to it. Yeah, if you cast to it, it will also like you like if you want to cast something onto it, it will amplify it. But also, so think of it this way: mm -hmm. it's going to make that spotlight. It's going to activate the light, and it's going to retract the. It's going to make the image. But it also whatever spell you cast onto it, you're pretty much making a enlarge spell okay. on whatever spell you're casting into it. But so basically, if you don't want to use your minor illusion spell, you can choose one thing that you want it to do on its own. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, minor illusion's a cantrip, so I can cast that at will. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... So, yeah, that's, um... That's just it. I, it just adds an extra ben it actually it adds an extra effect on top of the spell. So it's like you get the color, you get the color change, the enlarged spell, the range, and the extra minor illusion effect on what you cast on this thing. Well, Eloy, what do you, what do you think uh, for for the for the shows you're going to put on? What kind of stories do you think you're going to tell? Because if you're talking about us, maybe like maybe like a ship or you know a, or pirates or weapons. Oh, I got it! I got it! Because I can it'll it'll make whatever spell I do real big, right? Uh, but yeah. So the, what what it can do should just be the ocean, and then I can make the ship. I can make whatever so, else so I want on top some, of it. All right, so like more of a pattern than a than a shape. I like it. Let's see if it can do that. Do you want rippling water? Yeah. Uh, like rippling ocean water. Yeah. Like okay. A, Let me roll to see if he has something of that. Hmm. Roll investigation. Uh, 15. You find it. That one. <laughs> the open water. It's what I've always wanted. It's like my dreams in a crystal ball, Ezra. It's perfect. Legit Larry was more legit than even I had surmised. <laughs> <laughs> There's legit Larry in the background. Son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, yes, legitimate Larry is totally legit. Why did you ever doubt him in the first place? You'd be a madman. It's true. I... For a moment there, I was mad walking into this place, but now I see things. See things the way they truly are. <laughs> 5,000 gold, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Voice crack! <laughs> ah, I'm so excited! 5,000 gold! 5,000! <laughs> you hand him the money, he gives you the crystal. T tell you what, tell you what, Mr. Larry. I, I pull out my device as he's, as he's counting the gold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One. Two, three, uh, uh, a uh. thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out my device of scroll making and cast a fairy fire into it and hand him the scroll that comes out. <laughs> that fairy fire I just did? Here, this is that in a scroll. So next customer that walks in, you can cast that and put on a big old light show for him just like I did just now. Roll persuasion with advantage. Out of curiosity, since he did cast Fairy Fire on that, when it went off, are they now surrounded in Fairy Gleam? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll be easy to spot. Uh, 18. 18? My beautiful donkey friend, <laughs> you are giving legitimate Larry the opportunity to, s to sell give more magic to the rest of the world. Share your gifts. Let me hug you. Hugs! Hugs! I want to hug a tornado! <laughs> <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore, Eli. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Twister! <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll take a quick break here at this point. He gives, you, he gives you 500 back for it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice of him. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll see you back at the table after this. Hello, Wonders, and welcome back to the table. All right, so you got your, uh, you hugged got your fancy magic crystal, and you hugged Mr. Twister. <laughs> Legitimate Larry. I want to thank Jocato for that. <laughs> Jocato, that, that was Jocato's, Jocato's. boy. I, I, I look, during the break, I looked at the chat, and I'm just like, okay, who was it again? Uh, and they're just like, Jocato, your boy was used! Everyone <laughs> loves him! <laughs> All right, so... Produ uh, producing some fine goods from a Mr. Legitimate Larry. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, unless you want to go with them over to the headmaster... Uh, I, I do believe, like, uh, if Nedra and I, like... Uh, their trip to there probably gave us enough time to, like, get dressed up in our yeah. battle vestments. So you know what? Why don't we do this? Explain to me what they look like. 
All right, since you described that uh, the helmet I have, well, it's kind of a decorative helmet that's a, like, kind of like a uh, shark's face, basically. Yes. Uh, so I can kind of, like, see out, but, like, the mouth is kind of, like, covering my well, mouth. Well, I got, like, don't, eyes. Don't, don't think of it as, like, a giant shark head. Think of it as, like, it's well, a yeah. helm, it's, but the it, shape. With shark-like right. features, yes. basically. Uh, but I have, like, two eye holes that I can see out. Uh Probably, like, a little, like, opening in the back that my hair can, like, stream out of. Uh, Nedra's is a uh, red dragon mask that, like, covers her eyes, but her mouth is, like, or, like yeah, she has, like, a little thing over her eyes, like, f uh, but the mouth part is, like, fangs there, fangs there. And you said that it, like, lights up and produces steam out of its nostrils. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, like, a little snout to it. Uh, it kind of, like, drapes into the back with a cape is, what I, is how I always imagined it. Yep. And uh, I'm basically just, like, wearing blue battle vestments along with it, kind of uh, roby sorts of things, like combat gi. Mm -hmm. uh, I got, like, long, like, my hands are kind of, like, bandaged up, sort of uh, Muay Thai style. Dope. Yeah, same with hers. Uh, and, yeah, but, like, hers are all, like, red and fire accents. Mine are all blue and water accents, so, basically. So picture, if you will, just, like... <laughs> A, gr a gate opening, and then there's these two walking out in slow mo. But then there's Nedra hopping up. <laughs> <laughs> we look, we look like we look like a pair of Dark Soul bosses that yeah. you have to fight in tandem. Yeah, smog, smog, and orange steam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Biggie Smalls over here. Yeah. <laughs> so they're coming out to see you guys. You came back with a crystal to at least drop it back off. Now on the way over, since it's the closest place, you guys are gonna head over to the uh, to the college. So. These two walking up to the college, everyone's just like, hmm, hmm, that's a good vet. Hmm, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, wa I'm walking with like my uh, spear kind of as like a walking staff. Mm. When we were at the ship dropping off the, the stuff, or wherever we were dropping off the stuff, I put your feather garment on. I'm just like, all right, this, this isn't exactly like fancy, like. <laughs> Wear, but it will at least make a statement. We literally <laughs> look like an anime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids, spot the protagonist. <laughs> oh, look, when your custom character walks into a cutscene. <laughs> cut <scene. laughs> all right, so we're all moving. Uh, Bard College is 11, 11 or 9. Yes. All right, so you guys... Head what are you dressed in, Ezra? <laughs> yeah, what are you dressed in, Ezra? I have What'd my fine do? clothes. Okay. okay. And my top hat. With Scaffy in it? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> he gives you head scratches throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. No, that would wrinkle oh, him up. <laughs> <laughs> Just gripping your hair for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's practically just rolling around in there because I'm assuming gripping my head would also be considered a command that would just wither him out. He probably just kind of like just mean skitters that, like, around like thing. Wouldn't that mean the part where his wrist is open is exposed on the top of your head for I mean, like hours upon hours? Maybe. I'm just saying, you're probably your hair probably doesn't smell great. <laughs> He's not up there all the time. He's been on the ship. You're most wearing of the day. your top hat. You I'm, your... I'm sorry, but this is important for lore reasons. Okay. <laughs> How much does Ezra stink? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I just gotta try to grab the info that I have here. Ah, here we go. So, you guys go back to the college. Uh, you are revisited by Isaac Thorne, who is a little, like, shocked at how a little dressed up for the occasion you guys got. <laughs> He's just like, Oh, hmm. Well, you guys certainly know how to put on a display for yourselves. Thank you. That's what we like to do. We are are, are they part course. of your band? Oh, uh, we're actually here for something else later. We're just meeting up here beforehand. Nah, they're friends with moral support. Ah, I... Hmm. Go, Eloy! <laughs> <laughs> I, I do musics. They do punchins. Is that part of your, your performance? Do you want it to be? <laughs> nah, I, I, I think... Music's more my thing. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to step on your toes over in the arena. That's fine. There. Well, there. I'm not going to say this is part of the college here, but there is the College of the Sword, which is combat through performance. Ooh. Perhaps in the future, maybe. Yeah, I'd have to study up on that. But I mean, I guess that's why I'm here is for studying. Yeah. I'm always open for more students. Clank clank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all the students, a.k.a. the Azimar and the fucking High Elves, were sitting there just going, oh, yeah. 
No, I meant students from my school. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Isaac, uh, Isaac pretty much goes, okay, well, we received the message from the calls. Let's at least have you introduce yourself to the headmaster before we go any further with this. Uh, he... <laughs> again, presence, I ap- Eloy, presence. Yeah, again, right, right, right. Again, I apologize. There's so much paperwork here. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So, uh, we will introduce you to uh, Headmaster Nagalt in a few seconds. Uh, so you guys are pretty much ha- hang- just staying outside the front yard because he wants you to meet him there. Uh, finally, this very, very elo- eloquent looking. Uh, he almost looks like uh, he's covered in a giant cape that goes around his entire body, so it's kind of just like, like you know, like in Gundam animes, there's always the general that has like the fucking like shoulder pads that like <laughs> extend so far out that a giant drapery is around his shoulder. Yes, yep. You're kind of looking at that as a go- as a high elf in red in a red shoulder cape like that is stepping towards you. See, I told you dressing up was a good idea. Oh, <laughs> I, I might even like his cape better than mine. That's yeah, real that's good. <gasps> Nude. All <laughs> what a showman. <laughs> if clothes make the man a I was just man. the flasher. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and then behind the flasher is the real headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> the head flasher. Oh, oh, you want the headmaster? He's down the hall. A very conservatively dressed man. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was just one of our new members. <laughs> That's part of his show. Anyway. Anyway. When he flashes his coat, he... <laughs> no, he, he fucking, like, rips his coat off. The dramatic cape he, to the wind. Yeah, the dramatic cape to the wind. He's actually a lot slimmer than he looked in there. That was just, like, the cape holding up. Mm-hmm. That was, like, the shoulder pads holding up the cape. He is, like, though, in a very, like, frilled white shirt. Uh, almost what looks like a uh, very like embroid- embroidered uh, suspenders are keeping his uh, keeping his pants up, and he's got really thruffed out pants that uh, that bow down to like just over his shoes, and his shoes are pointed as shit. Like think Waluigi <laughs> shoes. <Okay. laughs> How embarrassed would we have been if you had shown up in your regular outfit? <laughs> I feel like we are we're, we're ready to match wits here. <laughs> this man is like a. A very pale white, like the sun is gleaming off his skin. Blue eyes for eons. His ears, like, just almost curl back. And his hair flows in the wind. And beside him is a giant tome that's holstered on a belt. And a very elegant rapier. Okay. I am Headmaster Nagalt. You may applaud. Nedra is like punching a post right now. That's that. <laughs> plang, 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 yeah, yeah. plang, plang. She couldn't clap hard enough with just her hands, so she's got to do that to, to fully express herself. Excellent. Now, <laughs> I understand Mom's. that you are a Mr. <laughs> Eloy, as it were. That's me. Ah, yes. It disappears. <laughs> Now, it is my understanding that the Carls had said that you are not quite eloquently prepared for such combat. I, boy, I already thought I needed a little more time, but after seeing you, after, after knowing what you're all about, yeah, I want to be, be at my very best, sir. I, I don't know if I can win or not, but I want to give it my best possible try. I, I do not want to waste your time. And that is all I could ask for out of anyone who wishes to... Trade fisticuffs verbally with yours truly. I nudged Nendra. He said verbally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, there's her just like grabbing the post like... Mm. He said verbally. Oh. <laughs> that means with words. Ziaka would be able to beat him. I know that. She beats up Calliope all the time with words. <sighs> We taught her quite a few words. <laughs> <laughs> I think Golfer taught her a few words, too. I mean, Mr. Golfer told me not to tell you, but he's taught me all kinds of words. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> we'll have to have a talk with him. You left her on that boat all day. 
<laughs> I will at least give you a little bit of information about what I do here. I am a master of the College of Valor. My words speak of heroes far beyond that of the sea, but that of La Saranus itself. Tell me, my boy, what do you know of the onrush? Knowledge, <laughs> roll. You mean like the onrush of, of sensation when you hear a beautiful song? I could see it that way, yes, but that is not what we speak of here today. Teach me. I can't, for <laughs> it is part of my bout with you. Oh, so I'll, I'll, I'll learn when I see your performance. You could, but I did want to give you a fair warning so you could at least prepare. You are welcome to... Look through the scripts. <laughs> the wandering scripts, as it were. <laughs> see what yeah, I know what I got. Yeah, it's good. Good. These people are weird, Nedra. I don't know what this is. <laughs> We're just whispering. <laughs> Meanwhile, the I'm two of us are I'm like too so afra- blown I'm too away. Afra- I'm too afraid to say anything because he'll beat me up with words. I don't. I don't actually know if that's how this works, but I'm too afraid to ask. Shh. <laughs> 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 Did you see he's performing? <laughs> Sorry. I want you to roll stealth real quick to see if we can if he can actually hear this conversation. You're you mean like the the echoing going through my helmet. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I rolled a do, 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 eleven. So I do have. He didn't hear it. Aha! Okay. He, he, he's he's too busy. That was a three on the dice, by the way. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he didn't roll pretty well either. So don't worry. <laughs> I'm just particularly good at stealth. Sir, I, I had a question, actually, about, about how this challenge works. Yes. Now, now Mr. Thorne, he said that, that it'd be for an audience. That is correct, my boy. We get to choose where our battle takes place. That was my next question. Great. Sir, my, my, my inspiration, my, my muse is the sea. I would love it if, if, if I could do my performance aboard our very own ship. The Yeldon, mm. for, for all the people down on the docks. I see. You wish for hmm, home field advantage. I mean, l- I, I think- accept <laughs> this bountiful side quest. I think I, think I need ev- every edge I can get, sir. You are so impressive. That's quite flattering, my dear boy. I've not seen your kind for a dog's age. You've seen one of me before? I've seen most of everything on this island. I am about 800 years old. Okay, I was about this to This man say. looks like he's, like, no more beyond 30. I was, I was gonna say, I never knowed nobody else who left before me, but I, I don't know what happened 800 years ago. You were probably never born, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I was not. Not even 700 years ago. <laughs> Where did you find this man? He's a gem. I know, right? <laughs> we picked him up. Just sailing about. I may as well describe to you what this is, and for in-game purposes. <laughs> in-game purposes is how these work is you have three rounds. You have to tell a story or perform something with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Each turn, you have to describe what you're doing magic-wise and describe pretty much you're pretty much describing what you're doing and also what magic you're throwing into it from your pool of magic to say hey so i'm going to describe like say this fight takes place here this is the story of such and such so let's say for example you want to do the ballad of billy punchy face Mm -hmm. you start off with how it begins Mm -hmm. what spell you're going to use to amplify it or how you're going to perform it and then you make the necessary checks Based on three of those rounds, whoever gets the highest score out of the audience, based on their roles, is the victor. Okay. Uh, another question, sir. How, how big of an audience are we talking? How many people's going to be watching? Oh, my boy. This will be spoken to everyone within the day. Those who wish to attend will come. And since we're doing it by the docks, I'm sure all the sailors on the side will want to see a good show. That is... Ever since I was a boy, back on Old Lady Big Rock Mountain, sir, I, I heard tales of the sailors sailing the seas and how lonesome it gets out on the waters. 
All I ever wanted was to make him happy. I, I literally can't lose. I'm living my <laughs> dreams just by being here. Hmm. Pride. I like it. Maybe it's that pride who will show the eye of the cause. I hear the young prince is here just off the sh- uh, just off the main line. You will be performing for them right outside their window. Ooh. Yeah, we we met that boy er- earlier earlier today. He seemed real nice. <laughs> I would assume so. He is the prince after all. I do not know what that means, but he was very nice and polite. I see. Well, I am forbidden to speak of what my performance will be. I want to give it at least some sort of a competition. But you are welcome to seek knowledge of your own accord when it comes to the onslaught. Beyond that, holds his hand up. The cloak comes back in reverse order. (gasps) I away. (laughs) Back inside, Isaac Thorne just looks at you and goes, hmm. I think he likes you. <laughs> I like him. All right, so uh, just tell us where your ship is. I'll write down all the uh, all the information we need and give us a date and time. Although, based on what the call said, I'm sure they're going to want to at least take a look since they have some sort of, you know, affiliate with pushing back this date. So the calls here said that three within three days would be the best choice. Okay, yeah, I can... It's going to be a lot of hard work and practice in a short time, but I I, I think I can be ready. I believe in us. In Uh, you. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm going to, I'm going to need a day like you want to do this though. Yeah. Um, When could you be ready? (laughs) Says Wake. Because when, (laughs) when you mentioned you wanted to board the ship, his eyes widened. (laughs) (laughs) No one can see that. Not through that mask. (laughs) Nope. Do we want to just have the maximum time available? I mean, that's what I'm <clears throat> I don't know if that would be necessary. You're so good at what you do, Eloy. You, you probably beat him now, but... I'm going to roll insight Persuasion quick. versus if... insight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just see if I can pick up on what you're doing. Uh, persuasion is an 11. Insight is also an 11. Mine is a 15. You two are butting heads. You you guys can't read each other at all. You can't get your point across. He can't read you. You know the fuck is up. Yeah. You, well, 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 you, well, 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 Eloy, Eloy. It might be, you know what? We do want to have our, our entire crew present to cheer you on. It might be prescient for us to know what would be good for everyone else uh, for us to set up that kind of time. Um, so perhaps we can figure out uh, just generally what would, what would a good time that you think we should do i i feel like you've you've had it's more conversations quite possible that we might be able to set this time after our meeting with our crew after the fight today i, I look would that be okay would it be all right if we came tonight uh after having a discussion with our crew just to, to settle on a time just so we can all be present so as many of our so as many of our friends and family can be here to to cheer to cheer eloy on uh uh, you know, you really put us on a really bit of a timetable when it came to... But the fact that the calls told us to... We can't say no, but please, just to save us a headache, please try to get us a date as quickly as possible. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I understand that this puts you in an awkward position, but trust me, with the performance you're going to get, it will be worth it. And you want you want the audience to be in it. You want you want the audience to be And excited. we also want to make sure that uh, Headmaster Nagalt will be at his prime for of it. Of course. Uh... That whole message about him being 800 years old, while he doesn't, he looks pretty spry for it. Let's just say there's a little bit of a condition to it that we will need as much time to prep for it. Absolutely. Understood. We will tell you the moment we have a time set up. Thank you. Well, best of luck and put on a good show. I will do my very best, sir. It's 10,000 worth of a try, so make it good. He walks off. And you just hear that for the first time. They spent 10 grand? It's <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah, but just think. Uh, trust me, it's, it's, think what? of it as an investment. Okay, what, what do you... Yeah, this is the first you... time you're ever hearing the finances of this. <laughs> do you win 20 grand? <laughs> well, we're winning basically a 100 grand's worth of education. 
<laughs> plus the right to travel around and be educated elsewhere. Of course, every time we uh, do another one of these challenges, I think it's another uh, uh, you know investment. But trust me, for the with what Eloy is going to get out of it, absolutely worth. Oh yeah, man! Don't you know? Like the one dude just sitting there with his Turner. Oh yeah, don't you know? He's doing the travelers thing. Uh, if he did this the whole if he did this the whole way, it would have been two hundred grand. Yeah, you see, we're actually saving a hundred and ninety grand. Also, look at this. Look at this thing. I hold up my uh, Turner, my travel Turner. I can make all, all my magic musics, my spells. I can just put them down on paper, and then anyone can do them. It's incredibly that, that useful. That was day. So, that was day one. So that thing where you make metal warm, you could do that a lot. Uh, j- I could I could put that down on on a paper. It can only do it once per day. I already used up my one one per day, but I'll show you first thing tomorrow. I could just hand oh, you a scroll. Oh, it's refreshed. You could do another one. Really? It refreshes within the day? It, he 24 hours have passed at this point cuz he did one. No, he oh, he did it he did it at the magic shop. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. Wait, heat metal or the turner? No, no, no. The, he used the turner at the oh, magic shop. Oh, right. Jesus, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, that that remember we we killed a we killed a tree with that, and I could just hand you a scrap of paper and say, hey, next next murderous tree that shows up, you got this one. I think if you give Skrung a bunch of those, that metal dude that he's been chasing might not feel so good about those. That's also very true. See, the, the uses are limitless, and that was just... You know, fine, limited. That that's probably <laughs> worth 10000 but oh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. I say through my shark mask. <laughs> <laughs> We're not made of money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, Ned's just shooting at steam. <laughs> <laughs> we can't spend. <laughs> we can't spend more than we earn. <laughs> Everybody's got their hobbies, wake. I'm Sheldon. All right. So, with that in mind, you guys need to at least, like, before the next day, have to give them a time and date. That's fine. Yeah, as we're walking out, I'm like, sorry to make that awkward, but my plan might be a little more time sensitive and involve the ship. <laughs> Understand. Or understood. Eh. Understood. All right, so you guys are heading over to uh, the fight the fight pit now. Do uh, we run into these two on the way? Uh, no. By this point, they probably have moved on to somewhere else. All right. Yep. However, you do. See Onslow sitting at a table, just eating a buffet of all kinds of things. I gotta ima- like he's been here all day. I just gotta imagine he's been sitting there. I hunted this. I hunted this. Yeah, no, he's kind of just sitting there eating, and he's got a whole bunch of people like gathered round near a fire pit as he's like consuming food, sharing it with others. There's a bunch of like other like odd creatures that you've not seen yet. Obviously, there's like fire genasi, and uh, there's uh, earth genasi, and. Asimar, but you do see that there is one of those bearded dragon lizard folk that w- that was spoken of, and even a Kenku and some other kobolds. Like, races that do not walk around the shop. Hey, Onslow, make some friends? You might say that. I met a few uh, new acquaintances out on the hunt last night. If you guys weren't going to come, I sure as hell wasn't going to stop doing it. Well, Makes nobody sense. was going to stop you. We just had a... Good old time in the bazaar. Yeah, it was fun. Would you like a piece of manacle or son? Yes, please. Never tried. Take it. I take it. You uh, take a leg of manticore. Take a bite out of it. Roll con. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. A good roll. 19. <laughs> 19. Down like a champ. This thing is some kind of flavor you've never thought imagined would hit your tongue. I've sold this for at least 20 grand. Wow. Making a buck here. Nice. Yep. What'd you roll? Oh. I thought you said you were going to eat some. Yeah, absolutely. It's about that time, folks. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Natural Wonders. <laughs> First one of the night. <laughs> Your face turns purple. That is some fucking rank shit you just ate. <laughs> it's just inside my helmet. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want to eat that because that was a fucking poison gland you just took a bite out of. Ugh. Probably should have deveined it. Oh, sorry, son. I kind of just eat them. Not really raw, but for the I, most part, I like the game of the I, meat. I scrape it out of the inside of the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. 
Man, if this is how it tastes raw, I can't wait to taste what Granite can do with it. We don't Ugh. talk about this to the sea hag at all, son. <laughs> because if that were the case, she'd want it for herself, and your friend Onslow's hard work would go for naught. Well, well, thank you for sharing it with me, Mr. Onslow Green. Hmm. Tell you what, son. He hands you two pieces of rations. Yay! Uh, so that gives you a plus one to con for six hours. Hey! <laughs> If you can roll a con save of 15. <laughs> Here, let me have a bite of that. I want to try some. Go for it. Huh? You got it. Yeah. Uh, mod 20. You take a nice chunk out of it. It's savory. Like, the meat kind of, like, it feels stringy at first, but as it goes down, like, you get this, like, myriad of other flavors that go along with it. They obviously added some kind of spice to it, even though it's like semi raw. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's like medium, medium rare at this point. Yeah. The spices that they add to it kind of like adds another little hint of flavor. You feel the, you feel like when it gets to a certain point, it's like, oh wait, that's what Wake probably tasted, but it's not that bad. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, you feel heartier for it. That was that was some pretty good stuff. Thanks. That's what you missed out on, son. Well, there were some elephants out there, but the boys over at the border weren't quite too keen on the fact that I squared one right in the head. I imagine they wouldn't be very. Yeah, all keen the Asimar are just like, oh. I'm, sh- I'm sure you explained that it was a it was a friendly accident and it won't happen again while no, you're here. No, it was quite it was quite on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I meant to. I wanted to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I wanted to use. I wanted to sell its hide to the bazaar and make a good buck on it. Mm-hmm. I don't think that would work out too well here. People seem to like their elephants alive here. Hmm. It's quite a shame. Well, hopefully it didn't it's cause. Okay. He, I'm gonna roll stealth on that. <laughs> I'm gonna roll stealth on what he's about to say to you next. Okay. Oh no, he's not stealthy at all about it. He's not subtle at fucking all. It's okay, son. I killed one of the infants. Put it on the ship. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. It was a good catch. A real good catch. There's a dead Can baby. I eat some? <laughs> Nedra says. Maybe. Oh God. Grammy's probably already gotten to it. Oh, no. She has. I'm That's sure what's going to be dinner for tonight. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, the, the Border Patrol, who wasn't too keen on you doing that, did they... uh? My little pal here was the one who helped me get it out. My new friend here. He points over to the bearded dragon, uh, lizard folk. I knew, oh, I great. knew they'd get along. An accomplice. Great. <laughs> let me uh let me introduce you to the camel humps hunting lodge owner, Pogo Gama. <laughs> Pogo Gama. Mr. Gama, I am sorry. I know you have to run a business around here if Hello. Uh, if our friend Onslo <laughs> caused any any Bob undue trouble. As you talk. <laughs> any undue trouble. Just understand I am greatly, greatly sorry for any sort of trouble he may have caused for his hunting. Listen, it's okay. It's not. It's fine. It's it's a great source of hunt. It's real good. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> sorry, I saw a cricket. It was really yummy. He seems like the kind of guy that blinks one eye at a time and licks his own <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, just... We're going to go get ready for our fight. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want elephant too? I'm surprised you're so open about it in this town, but... I mean, a, a hunt's a good hunt. I get I get to kill all the things. Normally, there's really good scorpions outside. I get we're, to we're eat. Gonna, we're going we're gonna to go, I, we're gonna go and, find our way to the, uh, okay. the, the dressing room and maybe talk to the goodbye. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay Henlo. He's a gem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, uh, nice fella. If y'all want some good bounties, maybe talk to this boy sometime. Well, and we're just here to. I'm, I'm excited to cheer on Nedra and see see how this challenge goes. Hmm. I might join you in a few minutes once uh, the rest of my acquired goods are sold off. Of course, you uh, you make yourself a mint here. Nice work. By the way, Onslow, meet us back at the ship after the fight. Will do, son. We're having a talk. Will do. 
All the Asma are now watching you guys walk away. <laughs> uh, do I run into this gen? Uh, to this uh, Edward Caster gentleman on my way into the arena? Not yet. Okay. Uh, not quite yet. You head over. We have to figure out new terms of our bet. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> they just bought the stuff. Yeah, and then we got the dress for uh, Calliope. I assume she's wearing it for her meeting with the prince. Mm. Uh, okay, so you... I'm sorry, I keep reading the wrong thing. Uh, it's another character I'm mod made, so that's why I'm like kind of like turned <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> okay. So you head up, like you walk inside. There's like a bunch of other people who like do not look like they belong with any of the noblemen. They're there to like have a. They're there to have a good time and beat the shit out of each other. This looks like a paradise for Nedra. She is just so excited to see all these people who like are wearing what looks like the head of a wolf on the side of his shield. One dude over on this side looks like he's five men stacked into one person. Oh. Nedra is just like I don't want to leave. They're all wannabe in this Nedra. We'll show them. Yeah. Her hand's bleeding because she's punching so hard. Yeah, we'll show them the way of the fist. Here, let me rewrap that for you. I re I rewrap her hand so it stops bleeding. Uh, you head on up to the you head on up to the uh, the booth where uh, most of the people are going in for entries. It's just like, all right. So he looks over and sees you and Nedra. We have a fight scheduled for noon. I see. And, uh, let's see. You're face-to-face -face with a male tabaxi with, uh, deep green emerald eyes. Uh, he looks a little, uh, he, he's, like, methodical and looking over his work, but he kind of looks like he doesn't want to be there. Like, he's just like, oh, God, this shit again. All right, well. Go ahead and give me your name. Tell me what, uh, who, who are you fighting? What's going on? Just come on. I am the Blue Tsunami, and this is my protege, Fiery Red Dragon. Dude, that's not on the list. What the fuck? Who are you? <sighs> I'm Sheldon Flash. Uh... Ah, Sheldon. Oh, Wacky-ass name. Ah, there you are. And, uh, Nedra? Uh, no, this is Fiery Red Dragon. All right, I would never have given her name. Okay. Not once. <laughs> well, as long as you have your contender, it's a apparently giant fire thing that you boasted about because Caster told me. My yeah, champion. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, ooh, hmm. You're up against uh, Barabbas. Hmm. <laughs> uh, good luck. I hope he didn't pay a lot. Anyway, uh, so you and uh, your champion can head over to the side. Are you going to be in this fight too? Not if it's not unless it's allowed. Nah, not for this one anyway. I didn't think so. All right, cool. So here's what we're gonna do. You uh, you go ahead and prep up your champion over in the uh, over in the red side, and you'll be facing off against blue. The rest of you, uh, if you want, you can go to the concession stand, the betting station, and then go get yourself a seat. Wonderful. Let's go. All right. Well, we move. We move to the. We move to the green room. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you guys are pretty much going to the green room. He's not allowing you guys to go, yeah. but you can probably like just head to the entrance and they'll stop you. So if you guys want to say anything to Wake or Nedra before they head inside. Good luck. I have the utmost faith in both of you. Luck isn't necessary. Right, Nedra. Roll perception from everyone. Uh, I don't see it. <laughs> this is more Matt, for hearing. This is more for hearing. Yeah, I don't, I don't I have... Don't uh, okay, I do not. Okay, 19. Modified 20. You two are hearing hush whispers of a bunch of the other people just looking at you and just going, oh, man, they're going after Barabbas. Like, they are they are just super not... They're just like, oh, this poor person. Like, whoever's going to be fighting. Like, he's, they see the both of you. They don't know who of you is fighting, but they're just like, oh, this, they're up against Barabbas. This is pretty good. This is going to be a slaughter. Hope they know what they're doing. I look at... Does Nedra notice it? I think she's just focused on the fight. Let me roll. She, too, notices it. This is just getting her pumped. She yeah. doesn't care. Yeah, they were saying the exact thing, the same thing when I was going up against you. Remember that. I kicked your ass super hard. <laughs> but who won? Who was saying what? 
I guess. But does that mean I'm going to lose? No, they're saying that you're going to lose. So you're going to prove them wrong. Oh, I get reverse psychology. Exactly. See? The book learning is helping. No, that was just Scrung saying that. The book learning anyway. <laughs> Look, you, you, you learn things from books and you learn things from people. He's, he's book learned. But I, I learned how to punch things from you, though. I know. Is, is punching like reading? Very much so. The better you are at what? punching, the... Never mind. Let's you're go. not here. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, you're you're at the. Oh, yeah. they're they're right there with you. She doesn't oh, okay. go inside. You guys didn't go in just yet. Oh, okay. It's reading like punching. Yes. The more you practice it, the better you are at it. I guess. No. <laughs> True warriors speak with their fists. Can you write punches? I know you have the little doodly bob that does magic, but can it write punches? I mean, in theory. It's, I, I more punch people's minds with my words, but I can write those. That's still punching. I must have one afterwards. Okay. She gives you a big ass hug. <laughs> oh. L yeah, lifts you up, Rolcon. <laughs> Six. Surprisingly. <laughs> You've taken enough of these crunches that it doesn't phase you, but you are hoisted up and there is a loud audible pop. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, that's good. I've been trying to work that out for days. <laughs> All right, so you guys uh, head inside. Are you going to go in with her? Oh, yeah. All right, you two. What yes. are you guys going to do? We go to wherever it is. You place bets. Where's betting happen? This worked out great last time. All right, you head up. Uh, you actually like just walk on up to the tabaxi man who is sitting there. Oh, hello again. Hi. What do you want? I'm going to put a bet down for uh, the fiery dragon. Uh, that, all right, that's what they call it. I should write that down, I guess. There we go. Okay, so. <sighs> what's let, what's let, the math applier on this one? Last time it was, what, 10 to 1? So that was like real that. good. Yeah. Well, you're going up against Barabbas, right? 240 to 1. I put down 2,000 gold on, <laughs> <laughs> on the fiery dragon. I'll match that. Hmm. All right, hold on a second. He, like, looks over to the side. Hey! Get out here! We got a couple of schlubs who are going to lose their money! As, nope. a, as an, elf, an elf man with red hair kind of just, like, meanders out, just like, oh, boy, this is going to be fun. He, like, just starts raking in the cash you guys give in. They hand Don't you... Don't listen to him. They hand no you... No idea. They hand you... I'm until, confused. Uh, I, thought, I thought this was gambling. That's where you get free money because your friends punch things. <sighs> Look. Yeah, but someone has to gamble against you, and they lose money. They think that we're going to be the ones getting punched, but they don't know... Oh, well, that's... They don't know Nedra. That's dumb. Why would they sign up to lose money? I know. They're they hand you both two tickets. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. You ain't gonna last. <laughs> it's like we both have like the confidence against one another. They have no idea what they've done. <laughs> All right, so you're now in the green room. Uh, you actually see Edward Caster. Well, hello, Edward. Oh, hello, yes. And by the way, you're doing this for hmm, some cloth? <laughs> Oh, I believe we've already made the agreement. I think uh, we already have the cloth. Uh, we need to come to new terms. Mm, I right see. Back. What are these terms that you have? Oh, yes, that's right, because if I'm not mistaken here, you have backing from the calls. That won't save you against Barabbas, but please do go on. Oh, well, you see, I'm still betting this key that can unlock any door. You seemed intrigued by it. Yes. Now, what do you have that might be worth this? This... Indispensable item. What would you want? Hmm. What do you have? <laughs> well, he's a lawyer. Yeah. He has he has gold out the ass. And he's here with his daughter, so he probably bought a lot of like really nifty trinkets. Oh. So yeah, he, he Wait, bought is his, his daughter in the green room too? Yeah, his daughter's there. Cute. <laughs> keeps his, her his, his daughter's just like right there, just going. Hi. Hello. And Nedra's just like <laughs> it's okay, she's nice. Mr. Barabbas is nice too. 
Oh, well, I can't wait for Nedra to meet him. You actually are in the green room right now, so you can see, like, there's another, like, what looks like bird feathers are kind of sticking up over the lockers. So you can see, like, what looks like plumage kind of sticking up over. Is that him over there? Oh, yes, that's Barabbas. All right, well, let's see. This key that can open any door, I'd say that's worth... I don't know. Two platinum? Two platinum? <laughs> Why would I need to open up any door I wish? I could just buy anything I want. Well, with this, you wouldn't have to. You could just open it. Are you saying I should steal? No. I would never steal. Me. <laughs> No, but maybe you might have somebody in your life that might, I don't know, maybe you'll lock yourself out of your house one day. And you're like, wow, I wish I could open this door. Roll, and here you go. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. <laughs> That's fine. Fair enough. Well, got to be worse than that. That was a nat 20. Eh, 16. Not convinced, unfortunately. Whatever. <laughs> well, I did my best. <laughs> so then what exactly am I giving you then? If we're going to say two platinum, I'm going to want something of even better value. I have an idea, maybe. Oh, I don't what know do if, you have? I don't know if you feel confident about this, considering your status of needing it. Your ship. Hmm. Now you want to... Own it, yes. You, you go ahead and stay on this island. I get to keep the ship. I wish I could see the chat right now. I really do. <laughs> I'm just looking over at Brian, who's giggling like a maniac right now. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. All right. A timer's going. My ship's going to be worth a lot more than two platinum, sir. Oh, I think not. Oh, I think it is. And why is that? It's unlike any ship you'll ever see ever again. Hmm. Roll persuasion. 19. Natural one. And why is that, my dear boy? Because our ship is our friend. <laughs> <laughs> it can talk! And not in that bullshit symbolic way. It's yeah. a person. Well, unfucking fortunately, I rolled a nat one, so symbolism's gonna fucking work. Let me roll severity. Oh, well, just fuck me. I rolled a seven. That's high severity. Doing good for me. <sighs> I'll tell you what. That two platinum, it's worth a ride on our ship. It's worth chartering it to anywhere you might want to go. It's not worth owning it. And I promise you, a favor from me and my crew is worth way more than any amount of money that you have. Oh, really? Yes, really. I will not be undone by you. <laughs> then put your money where your mouth is, sir. I will put down ten platinum. Barab you, you, you actually see whatever Barabbas is. Like, you see, like, the feathers go... That much, boss? That's right. You're worth that much. And I swear on me, Jacobs, if you lose... On his Jacobs. <laughs> on his very Jacobs. On his very Jacobs. I, listen, I love you. saying that on my stream. I had to put it in here. <laughs> I swear on me, Jacobs, that if you lose, I will see to it that the guild never makes you have another job again. Oh. Well. Fine. Ten platinum against any favor you could want from our crew and a charter.
Beck and Call. Hmm. He actually like kind of like laces his fingers together like, ooh, hmm. That sounds like a good way to get back at you. Very well. I agree to this. All right, 10 platinum versus a quest. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we're in the audience. So, what do you think that? What do you think Wake's gonna make, change the the wager to? I hope he gambles uh, Grammy away. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, with the ship, I, I mean, never leave. <laughs> oh, 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 these rich folk might find a way. Your uh, your unique cuisine would would wow them all. There's a person on the other side. Who are you talking to? <laughs> She's gotten in your head. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> You're just like, wait, where is she? And then you see her like in the row in front of you looking up at you. <laughs> she doesn't even have a ticket. She just goes where she wants. Yeah. Who's going to stop her? <laughs> not the calls and certainly not the leisure main. Yeah. Yeah, that that board tabaxi at the front. <laughs> I don't got time for this. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, are you, you, they pretty much call out the people who are going to go for their other, uh, uh, go for their, uh, challengers. So, you're given actually a really nice little, uh, balcony box to show off the person who's, like, managing and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a balcony box on each side. One of them, if everyone wants to roll a perception check, you get advantage, Wake. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. 23. Gonna need that advantage. 17. Uh, modified 20. Modified 20? Uh, yeah. All of you watch as, uh, Oslim, Serpil, and Oso kind of take up the West Wing balcony. Hey, look. There they are. And there's Calliope, just like... Oh, good. She took my advice. However, I thought with all from, the... Uh, from, uh, from, from wherever my announcement... You're at the north. Okay. I, like, wave... And Oz, like everyone else, like even Oslam, Sur Serple doesn't do anything. Oslam and uh, Oso oh, kind of just go. And then there's Edward and his daughter on the south side. Oslam kind of like stands up and like approaches where the edge is. Let this battle commence. Under the glory of the sun that is the Ibercal Kingdom. And everyone in the audience just screams and erupts in a roar. As you open the door, uh, as the door underneath you opens, you see Nez Nedra kind of just like run out, just like, let's go, let's go. She's got her bat ready, just like slamming it on the floor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fiery red dragon! I everyone screams yeah. the fuck up. I, sl I slam my, uh, Quarter staff to the ground, like just trying to make a loud echo snap. Everyone's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, wait. Roll me performance. Oh, <laughs> something I'm not particularly great at. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Fiery red dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Fiery. <laughs> yeah, my mouth. In this con app, <laughs> I just rolled in that one, so the audience is losing their minds. <laughs> ah, I'm good at this. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> then Edward stands up and everyone sh like just goes dead silent. Boo! <laughs> 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 he doesn't stand a chance! And of course, my champion, you all know him very well. And you actually, oh, you guys actually watch some of the people who are not like noblemen shrink. Is this guy? Barabbas Bonebite. The door. Yeah, no. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm just, ima I'm just imagining Shadow of War. Barabbas. 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 <laughs> All right. The door opens up as a giant form, a giant bulking form, walks out. Out of the shade, you start to watch as now there's. More plumage. That's not a costume. That's a birdman. Rock, rock, rock. <laughs> oh, yeah! 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 <laughs> uh, 
All right, a red-headed macaw Kenku comes out of- Macaws. I don't like this guy. <laughs> Eloy, I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna be so fun watching him get punched. Oh, break his beak, Nedra. <laughs> yeah, this dude just kind of like steps out. He is adorned in plate mail. He, uh, he's adorned in plate mail. He's standing like at least eight feet tall. He's carrying a tower shield in one hand, and on the other hand, he's holding a warhammer. Well, good thing Nedra's got her bat. <laughs> I like look at you like, should we have given Nedra more than a bat? <laughs> I don't know. I think more than that might have been too complicated for her. Yeah, that's true. Keep it simple. He doesn't look like he's like aggravated. He doesn't look like he's trying to cheer the crowd. He just looks like he's ready to just go. All right, I'm ready to do just this. A stone-faced murderer. No, he's not even a murderer. Like he looks like happy. Like yeah. he like when you think like a stereotypical hero in a book about fantasy, a guy who's like pure of heart, noble and whatnot. This guy kind of like has <laughs> no. the he has the stature and the face for it. He's not like Nedra who looks like she wants to rip and tear. This guy's just like may this battle be glorious. <laughs> Barabbas the pleasant he seems all polite, but I bet he's a secret dickhole. That's what I'm going to tell myself, especially with that macaw. You know, you know what the fucking best part is, Ben, is that Barabbas is actually the name of my redheaded macaw. So I base this guy <laughs> off my bird. He looks really pretty, but he's a huge dick. <laughs> I have scars on my hand to prove it. <laughs> all right. Well... Uh, since you guys are not in this fight, I'm gonna have to make some, uh, pretty significant rolls going forward, and I apologize that this is gonna be theater of the mind for some Nah, points. that's fine. That's it's okay. Eloy might be able to give her some bardic inspiration here <laughs> and there. Hmm. That... too far away. That's... Oh, even, even with, with the bagpipes? The bagpipes? Damn. <laughs> this is a big arena. Zito was very generous to let me use yeah. those bagpipes in the first place. I'm not gonna <laughs> argue this one. That's fair. <laughs> You're right, I was very generous. You were, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that kindness. Remember your training, Nedra! She screams bloody murder into the sky, and everyone erupts in just cheer. And let's roll. I'm going to roll real quick for them. All right, that's Barabbas. That's Nedra. Barabbas is surprisingly going first. You watch as this man just, like, fucking kicked off the ground and now is... Fucking like a hundred, like just like a bat out of hell races towards Nedra with the shield. <laughs> Nedra is gonna go for a swing, and I'm not gonna say what Barabbas does just yet because she sees this guy coming at him. All right, let's fucking go. Batter up. <laughs> she batters up. Rolled 15, and ooh, all right. No, Barabbas tries to take the shield and actually try to parry with the bat and knock it out of the way. The bat caves in that you hear a crunch as he ducks into, like, a little shell-like form. Bruh, and unfortunately, Barabbas takes a nice meaty chunk to the side of the head uh, um, from the tip of the bat. You can't see my face, but I'm smiling. <laughs> Go, Nedra! All right, now for Barabbas to retaliate. You walk, like, you think this is going to be a cakewalk. Barabbas is getting pushed down by the bat as Nedra is now, like, ready to go for the second swing. But that second swing, unfortunately, gave Barabbas the chance to parry it. Just knocks the tower shield to push the bat out of the way. However, oh, Nedra got in that one. The bat goes flying behind her. You don't need it. You love your fists. <laughs> and in comes the Warhammer. Right to the side of her gut. <laughs> ah! She reels in pain at that. She is actually holding wow, her e side, wow, even, stepping to the side. Wow, even in her rage? Yeah. Wow. Oh no, it nerfed damage, but... Oh boy, you... Like, the whole fucking audience heard that crunch and everyone screams. Whoa. Nedra will try to get some revenge. Save not my CD, I'm gonna get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> or you. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nedra tries to actually grab the tower shield to try and disarm it out of him. With no avail, he just rips it out of her hand. Shields are for cowards and weaklings, Nedra! It's okay! 
You're close enough to probably say something, though, if you want to interject and say shit. All right. Um, I'm going to make a perception check to see if I've, like, through my martial prowess, have I seen any, like, weaknesses or openings? I'm going to try to make a uh, perception check to see if I can give her any advantages and tips. Uh, go for it. Sorry, I couldn't tell if that was a 15 or a 17. It was a 17 pl- uh, modified 20. Not by 20? Uh, Lights were getting in my eyes. Barabbas looks like he's actually using that shield very effectively. However, it might just be like that Barabbas knows where to hit the soft spots in Nedra's armor. But he's not really, like, you. You he probably has the same weak spots as any other person with plate mail would. So anywhere where the seams would be is a good spot to hit. I tell Nedra to uh, go uh, to go for the midsection or the neck. Oh, damn. Okay. Go Nedra. for the midsection or the neck! Nedra will take that advice as she instead takes, like, a good... She actually, like, performs, like, a kind of, like, curled-up hand. It's not a fist anymore. Normally, you would see her start throwing her fists around. She actually curls her hands up and uses the inside of her knuckles to try and hook into where the collar of his plate mail is. Oh? And she gets a hook! She is going to use her raw strength to try and pry open the armor. Uh, Just like rip it asunder? Not even rip it asunder, let's just try to go... Like trying to like pull a can apart. That'd also make his movements very awkward. <laughs> mm. No soap. Ah, Unfortunately, tough stuff. it's it's some it's some pretty sturdy stuff. But uh, he's still kind of grappled. But that still doesn't mean he can't just take his warhammer and just take another swing. Ooh, fucking shit. Okay, yeah, no, another meaty crunch to the same area. I'm gonna go. At, I'm gonna just kind of rush this through a little bit no more. No problem. Again, I, I feel bad that I'm like uh, we're nah, kind of like theater of the mindingness at this point. All right. So Nedra's gonna try. She again. She like reels back. You're starting to see like a little bit of blood is actually welling in that same spot. So, so a she's starting to bruise showing. up. Yeah, she's bruising up. But she still wants to keep going. So. She's now going to just instead, like, her patience is now run thin. She's now just going for a Berserk Rage attack. There she lets her uh, storm, or, uh, storm Aura go forward, which actually starts to singe at Barabbas. His armor is actually starting to heat up, and he's starting to feel the pain of it. He, uh, while in grapple, she tries to just take a nice big old punch right to his beak. Ooh. Yeah, no. Barabbas has taken a good couple of solid punches, like... Buh, buh, buh. See, she's defaulting to, to what she knows. It's fine. There you go. She's just falling back on the basics. It's great. I still believe in her. <laughs> Barabbas... Barabbas, on that last... Like, after, like, getting hit four or five, maybe six times, finally, like, gains the fortitude to just be like, whoop! holds up the shield and Nedra punches into it enough that when he pushes it forward, he actually knocks her in the face with the shield, having her stagger and let go. I'm gonna make one more final roll as both of them kind of butt heads into all-out brawl. Here comes Nedra's roll. Is she part of the crew? No, but she's pretty close to it. Oh, that's okay. A, that's a four. Plus, plus, plus all of her other stuff. So. Okay. All together, that's an eleven. Okay. Now let's see what Barabbas can do. Let's see what Barabbas can do. He didn't roll better either, but he got higher than her. No. Ah. Nedra's getting predictable. Nedra is getting so predictable that Barabbas is no longer using his shield to parry, but is actually dodging out of the way and using the staff end of his hammer. Can I make one roll to see if I can refocus her mind? 
Make it count. All right. What are you? Wait, before you do, what are you saying? I tell her to find the. I, I I tell her basically what I've been telling her in her training. Find the center. Find the focus of her rage. And channel it. Roll. Nat 20. <laughs> All right. Well. Gives her, I'm, I'm guessing that just gives her like one save roll or something. I no, don't know. that gives her advantage. Oh, good. Which is pretty fucking good. Now, let me see what Barabbas rolls. Because she rolled a 19 plus all of her other stats, so she got almost close okay. to 30. She's above 25 on this roll. Remember your training. Remember where you come from. Find the center. Oh, well, I guess that means just... Punch him in the gut! Apply <laughs> forehead and horns directly to the midsection. Oh. You watch as she boy. fucking just launches her head into Barabbas' gut. And hoist him! It's a punch with the head, it works! <laughs> and... Look out for my leap! Pile driver, headwise onto the floor. Barabbas lets out a squawking gush of blood from his mouth as this tiefling fucking presses all of her weight from head to toe right down on his midsection. SPEAR! SPEAR! <laughs> My God! He has got us my witness! He is broken in half! Let me roll one last thing for Barabbas. <laughs> he has lost all 20 teeth. Birds have teeth? <laughs> he lost all his beak. Geese do. <laughs> Told you. <sighs> Fucking assholes of the animal kingdom. Oh, there's no bones about it. Barabbas is fucking just like holding his gut on the floor. Nedra, too, is kind of, like, now standing up. She looks dizzy as all get out. Let's out a victory screech, but hits the floor. This is very familiar, I say. <laughs> now it's time for them to roll con saves to see who stands up as Victor. Oh, but she was already standing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nedra! You can do it! All you have to do is get one foot under the other! Fiery Red Dragon! I cannot fucking believe this. They both rolled the exact same <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> but that means now I have to just add Barabbas's over Nedra's. Okay, you guys are gonna hate me. Gonna are they the exact same, same stat? Barabbas is up by one. Oh no! <sighs> You're right. <laughs> hey, man, that's how the dice go. Oh, fuck, she lost. Barabbas stands up, the victor, and Nedra can't roll on her side enough to stand. Even to kneel is painful. That blood is eking out the side of her armor. Barabbas has retained victory. All right, ah, I'm, I'm, going to, yes. I'm going to jump to the field to uh, tend to Nedra. Right on. And you got some medics coming out to help you as well. Well, all right. Well, w w once we get all our gold from gambling, we'll we'll buy her something nice to cheer her up. No, <laughs> Eloy, that's no. We don't we don't get that money back anymore. That's that's how this works. We we put what, the money. What? We 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 gambled. Right. Two thousand gold. Right. Saying that Nedra would win. Barabbas. Wait, wait, that's how gambling? What? What? Yes. I thought gambling was just free money. No, no, no. There's, there's got to be a, there's got to be a chance you're gonna lose. And looks like we looked, we didn't, we didn't win this one. Also, didn't you say you fucking spent all your money on, the, on the, on the crystal? You said uh, he not, had five thousand. Oh, you had five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you was like, yeah. No, Eloy, you didn't spend Eloy all your had money the most. I owe you. Eloy <laughs> had the most money out of all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got plenty. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> as expensive as things are here, I don't have plenty now, but yeah. I did have enough to cover the bet. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you guys are out 2K. Sorry. Yep, happens. Hey. Barabbas actually kind of, like, hobbles over to you, kneels down, and goes, may I? You fought well. <laughs> Please. He looks at the spot where he whacked the hammer so hard. He actually, like, takes one side... He takes his hand to one side, 
puts the shield there, and then takes a fist. I'm going to roll for that. A nat 20. Hey. Okay. He fucking he pounds his like hand down on top of Nedra's stomach, and the side where it was ca- where it was caved in pops out, and you see Nedra gasp for air as she's starting to move now. Did All right, you I, uh... heal with punches? It's it's complicated. It's more like rearrange hurts. <laughs> the yeah, world's I, weird. I give her a healing potion. You fought well, Nedra. Yeah, she. Uh, Oof. I wasn't going to give HP counts on that, but I was just going to say, like, theater of the mind, you weren't in the fight. We had to, you know, expedite that. That's fine. That. Yeah. Yeah. Nedra's just like, I uh, what? What happened? Bird? She just, like, tries to claw at him. No, 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 no. It's The fight's over. The fight's over. Oh. I lost? Well, you were the last one standing, but you did fall down. He got up first. I'd call it a draw, personally, but <laughs> I'm not the one that makes the rules around here. Victor's got to stand, man. Yep. Victor's got to stand. Unfortunately, they both hit the ground, so it was, it was like a tied thing where it was like, oh, shit, which one's okay? So, and plus, I'm going to, like, I'm going to just go ahead and say in time this, and I know this is going to sound like shit to a lot of people on stream, but I'm going to say, like, that fight probably lasted a good five minutes yeah, with, with, just... with just putting rolls in. Yeah. Right. Well, and it's one of those things where it's like, basically the the count started <laughs> for uh, for Barabbas, and then she fell down too, and just never got back up. Yeah, it's basically how I how I am viewing the end of that fight. Yeah. So there's Edward Castor laughing his ass off, and Barabbas like actually is, turns around and sees that, and then looks to you. I hate that guy. <sighs> Me too, and I owe him a favor. I I I, I help Ned I help lift Nedra up. He does so as well. All right, I dust her off. You fought well. And if we keep up with our studies, next time he won't be so lucky. But I found the center. <laughs> you did. You did. A tooth. You did real good. Here. <laughs> I hand her her tooth. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I, I dribble a little healing potion on it. Roll medical. Okay. Uh, that's intelligence, right? Or is that wisdom? That's uh, intel. I believe... No, it's wisdom. I'm sorry. Okay, that's, uh, 15 then. It melts back on. But it's in reverse. <laughs> well... <laughs> she'll have a fun story then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... I'm gonna... I, I, I offer to shake, uh, the bird, uh, the bird man's hand. Oh, yeah, no, he's super into, like... He was just like, this was a great fight. Like, I... Thank you. I haven't had someone actually do some hefty damage to me in quite some time. It was a fight to actually... It's a fight to remember. It's something that brings me back to the onrush. Nedra, remember Nedra, remember to show respect to your opponents. And we bow. She bows as well. She's like, reluctantly, but she does so as well. And Barabbas does so as well. I hope you gotta face this music, I guess. Yes, I... I'm sure his bets are exorbitant, and I apologize. I really wish it wasn't under circumstances of that, but this is what the calls have the entertainment district for. Yep. Maybe maybe when we get another chance, perhaps duel under more friendlier circumstances. We'd enjoy that, wouldn't we, Nedra? I want to punch the bird. I wouldn't mind punching you either, sweetheart. <laughs> I like bird. I'm just in the stands ripping up my ticket. Boom! <laughs> 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 All right, so I head we'll, back to the green room. <laughs> well, we'll. How about this? Since we're like getting close to like ending the session, why don't we go ahead and do the meeting? All right. For, but say, I'll tell you guys like what your rewards and shit after, or your loss and shit afterwards were. But for now, yeah. skip ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's do a little bit of a skip since we're getting close to end. All right, so we can probably get rid of the map for now. Then. Yeah, map's fine. All Math back is at the boat. Everybody back at the ship. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you guys return back to the boat as Grammy is chasing after. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I can't yeah, aim it at the right camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> just, just. <laughs> it's, 
It's like the <laughs> Batman thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back at the ship. Everybody's here. Everyone's here. Everyone <laughs> except for you, poor guys. Looks like you had a grand old time. <sighs> uh, there and there goes Grammy chasing after Yit with a with a hatchet. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Keep running it. <laughs> By the way, I got you a bowl. <laughs> I set it down. We can pour some honey in it later, I guess. That's good. You can keep him sit still for a second so I can chop his head off. Grammy, he's a guest. It is our friend. What? It's food. No, that elephant is food. It is our friend. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Here's Grammy. I guess. Man, I was hoping to save up enough money for the next Bard College. This is the first time I've ever wanted money for anything, and I lost some of it. It happens to all of us, Eloy. Sometimes you win, and... Well, sometimes you don't. Then how do you like heists? <laughs> <laughs> so, I like them plenty, sir. <laughs> so you all pretty much sit down in the galley and have yourself a meal of illegal elephant. <laughs> With a side of Just humble pie. Elephant stew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. Mm, hefty. I got some foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I Grammy got... doesn't waste any parts of the elephant. Oh, yeah, no, and there, there's the Yaku with, like, the bone. <laughs> yeah. All right. As we all know, one of the biggest reasons we are here. I'm guessing Calliope is here with us now, too. No, she's yeah. not here. Oh. She's still with the calls. All right, well. That actually kind of sucks for me, because I had a plan there. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Fill her in later. I guess. All right, so uh, we all know that... The Fine Day Boardwalk Company has possession of the Collective One's heart, since they're the ones that plan to trade it. Right. Now, that trade's going down within the next three days, and we can't let them know that we're the ones taking it. Absolutely. So, my plan is that we get this ship sailing somewhere while we stay on here, because it sounds like Gore has a mission for us, so it sounds like he's willing to provide us transportation somewhere. Also, this might work out for me as well. Anyway, I'll get into that later. <clears throat> if we can get this, like, I, I, take, I take the uh, blink pyramids that we have. Mm -hmm. We have these that can get the collective one's heart to anywhere, from anywhere. Golfer, if we can get this thing sailing towards Jahal Cove, you, Ziaka, whoever else might want to go that way to get the collective one's heart back to where it needs to go. We can get it on its way while we make our way to South Zealous. None would be the wiser that it is on our ship, because our ship will have left port while it is still here. Okay. They go and search ships. They lock everything down. We wouldn't be able to leave. Right. Obviously, this thing is a big treasure if the king wants it. So if our ship is already on its way, when it gets to our ship, then we don't have an issue. That's all well and good, Strong says, but we still have no idea where the Collective One's heart is. That, and that's also in possession of the Fine Day Boardwalk Company, which we have no leads on. Well, we know where they're headquartered. That's fair. I tried to take a look at that place. I tried to gather some more information. Can't really find anything. Well, I think I might have us an in. I push out, uh, I, I pull out the uh, parcel that uh, Mead gave us. Okay. I think I might be able to get in with their captain. And Lord knows he's going to have a lot to say to me. Hmm. That's a really risky gamble. You're going to give away the entire reason why we have this ship and invoke the ire of the only friendly pirate lord we know so far? I'm not going to invoke his ire. I'm going to let him know that one of his friends just sent us with a parcel. And if we can gather the information that we need from that meeting, I think we can uh, sneak away with something here or there. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. uh, like, Golford now is, like, holds his hand up. He has a question, lad. How do you propose we get that close to him? We don't even know if they're going to let you get close to Lot. That's true. But this guy, uh, from what I understand, he doesn't strike me as a... Uh, he doesn't seem to strike me as the... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? God damn, it was on the tip of my tongue. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't strike me as the type that likes to operate in the shadows. I mean, he has an entire industry set right out here. He is obviously somebody of import in this town. 
Not to mention he has someone who works with the College of Whispers. Exactly. Who might be in on this conversation. Everyone looks to Eloy. Hi. I'm Eloy. Roll investigation. <laughs> <laughs> You, like the, and then there's there's red, Eloy. Do you see any magical red cloak wearing cats in this room as we speak? What? Natural wonder. What's a cat? <laughs> cats don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are too busy just lamenting over the fact that you can lose money in bets. <laughs> can any of you guys sing? <laughs> I can. That was Yeldon. Well, that would make for a hell of a show. Probably also get a shot. You <laughs> can always say he's enchanted. <laughs> Strong just like looks around, just like, oh, as long as they don't think he's tech. True That's enough. True. He's not tech, he's people. Yeah. He's magic. Yeah, but anyway, it took me a really hard uh, it took me a really hard time to try and convince this fat asshole to make sure he didn't bring his blunderbuss along. It was fun to kill with my bare hands. You took down a baby elephant with your hands? Actually, my jaws. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty strong. <laughs> but anyway, if we can get an audience with him and we can glean some information, or at least as to where it might be hidden, well. We have the zoo. I'm sure we don't want to do that again. Well, it didn't oh, seem to be Oh, by the way, uh, Skrung says, the Navy and the calls are kind of leery about that. Do we have a contingency to make sure that we're not caught? We were never there. Skrung, like, holds his face and points over to Yit. <laughs> what? What? The little fairy dragon that we met on... Jahal Cove? Our life, our, our, our long-term pet and friend and companion. They could it. figure out what was bothering that, that purple worm. And there's, and there's Yit just like eating honey out of, a, out of the bowl. He looks up with like giant, like wide puffed up cheeks. Got any more honey? There's plenty more honey. I'm sure it'll be fine if anybody asks anything. A little too convenient if you ask me. But in any case, <laughs> I found out that there's someone who works for the Bo Fine Day Boardwalk Company at the zoo. Uh, oh, yeah. They seem to own that place. They seem to own a lot of these places. Yeah, a lot of these places. Anywhere where there's a tabaxi, you can obviously assume that someone owns it. But the problem is, is that we don't know who the lieutenants are or people who actually work in Lot's company. For all we know, it could be anyone. Any one of these cats. I think our best bet is the carnival. Who's going to go to the carnival then? I know a good man named Sheldon Wake who's pretty good at carnival games. Sheldon, Sheldon Flash. I was going to say, Sheldon Wake's his name now? No, uh -oh. Sheldon Flash. <laughs> Scrum was just going to be like, what did you do to have to change your last name? <laughs> <laughs> like, break into a fucking zoo! That was a guard, sir. That was a guard of the calls. Yeah, that's not red, okay. And they didn't have a centaur with them. Yeah. They had a normal human. Yeah, and Red just goes, okay, well, do we have alibis for each of us if they start asking that? I feel like that's something we should probably stick to if they well, come around trying to investigate the matter. Well, the business that we said, we spent the night in the bazaar. Hmm. We definitely went shopping that night, so, uh, you we know. We did. There are witnesses. People saw us there. Very well. So, that just leaves us with one other thing. When you want to do this little heist of yours, when are we going to do it? And how soon are we going to send out the ship so they don't get a little bit more fancy to this plan? Well, we're going to need this ship to start heading out. Probably after Eloy's battle, which needs to happen soon. Makes sense to me. I mean, it's... Is tomorrow night? 
You have three days, and you're not you're not on day one just yet. Right? Yeah, I think tomorrow night's about the soonest I can do it. All right. If we can get this, uh, if we can get the ship sailing tomorrow night, which by the way, we might owe charter to somebody. Uh, anyway, uh, what? whoa, what? Pliskins are like, whoa, whoa, what? It's, it's nothing big. It's just so offering somebody a ride for. Uh, you want someone to come on our ship? I don't want it. What what happened? May have lost a bet. You guys know what it's like. <laughs> so, hold on. Well, where does he want to go? Not sure yet. Well, maybe I do already know. Insert here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know just yet. <laughs> okay. He. I'm going to say this. He left it vague so it could be a sprung up surprise on you. Good. Okay. He said that out loud. He's like... I'm going to leave it as a surprise for you, good sir. See you when I feel like it. Well, will he have a way to get a hold of us during this little heist? Yeah. Uh, it would be the calls. <laughs> they set up an IOU between them. The calls will summon you <laughs> when they want it. I guess, I'm guessing I still have one of those, like, imprinted things on the back of my hand that will yeah, let me know. Yeah, buddy. It's yeah, still there. Thing. Okay. So long as he is not on the ship when we're trying to get the, <laughs> the heart here. And who knows? Oh no, our ship got stolen. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna throw us under the ship and say we're pirates? No. Risf is like just sitting there fidgeting, like, oh no, there's too many bad things happening. Oh no. He like, cr he like just like climbs into Ziaka's like curled up form and just like goes in there, just like, I don't wanna be here anymore <laughs> right now. Risk, pull yourself together. Is that how a god acts? Maybe. I, I wouldn't know. Like, literally. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking the room. I'm asking you literally. I don't know. I'm. All I know is, is that I tried to at least, like, learn a little bit. I know you guys were looking for some really important people at the Fine Day Boardwalk Company, and I might have found something. Oh. Talking to the sailors. Well, please, speak up. Remember that one scrappy-looking tabaxi we saw who was- Pistachio! No, not that. Oh. <laughs> Stop, no, he doesn't- he's, he's God gone. opens up. No, not him! Oh. <laughs> oh, actually, by the way, I found out, um... Yeah, not Pistachio. It, I kind of found out that me and Pliskin, when walking around, Pistachio's uh, nickname was kind of a little bit more literal. It wasn't uh, a cute name. It was a trial-by-fire sort of thing. Oh? He was allergic to pistachios, Pl Pliskin says. Choked himself to death. <laughs> what? Why would he even try that? Pistachio! Pistachio no! <laughs> no! <laughs> this day can't get any worse! I barely knew him! <laughs> Why would they call him that? Guys, can we have can we have one more extra day so we can go to Pistachio's funeral? <laughs> I think, I think it calls for it. <laughs> I think we owe it to, to our friend Pistachio. Anyway. <laughs> oh, glad I fucking <laughs> snipped that cancer you out You know of there. how they treat deckhands out here. They probably just threw his corpse in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Unceremoniously bobbing in the water. Amazing. Uh, let me quickly find some names here. Ah, here we go. No. <laughs> Uh, no, it was the boy, uh, the small one, the munchkin cat we saw at the R&D, uh, that we saw at the, uh, I'm sorry. We saw at the carve house, I believe his name was Gavril Bazimet? Thank you did, you, 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 you did see him at the, at the start of here. He was hanging out at the carve house. So you have someone, if you find someone of that description, which, again, it was, uh, you if I want you all to roll a uh, intelligence check. Eighteen. Six. Eighteen as well. All right, those who rolled an eighteen, anything. you remember he was a light gray, wiry munchkin boy with a bunch of goggles, very hasty, little suspenders, uh, about three four. He's kind of hard to miss, out of like all the other like tabaxi who are like super lanky and tall. He was a good boy. Not, I mean, not half the cat pistachio was, obviously, but. <laughs> <sighs> I'll miss him. Anyway. We all will. No, yeah. we won't. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
the last you remember saying him, he was uh, peddling a bunch of like tools to try and make things. So he's a tinkerer of sorts. So you say he's a uh, higher up in the Fine Day Boardwalk Company. They say he has a lot of ties to Lot. Well, I think he'd be a good place to start tomorrow. A lot of ties, huh? A lot of ties, yes. But yes, we'll need to get this ship moving tomorrow night, which means we'll need to get this. Uh, this pyramid can only be planted for 24 hours, which means once we do that, there's a ticking clock. We'll have 24 hours to get that sphere once this ship starts moving. Re- uh, Ziak is just sitting there. I feel this is a good plan as long as we have enough information about the Fine Day Boardwalk Company before we make any more plans. Maybe there might be a chance we could, I don't know, you humans call it diplomatically solve the situation. I may have a few ideas. As a natural performer, I'm sure I'll get along just swimmingly with these people and we can come we can come to an agreement on perhaps some sort of performance, uh, you know, exchanging of ideas and uh, venue conversations. Just something to get our feet in the door. It's possible that you meeting with Lot would be better than me meeting with Lot for certain. Also fair. You could still go to the... the, I'm certain they won't throw you out of the carnival so long as you don't make a mess of yourself, says uh, Red. No promises. (laughs) Of course you're not going to have any promises about that. Uh, Sometimes we need a distraction. (laughs) I'm pretty good at those. Well, so long as we can get more information on Lot or anyone else, then this might be a good idea. We'll keep this as a backup until we learn more. Yeah, we're going to need people to uh, travel back to Jahal Cove, though. Obviously, Ziaka, you need to get this back to your people. Golfer, Yeldon listens to you. So we're putting a lot of trust in you here. As long as I'm out of danger, I don't care, lad. That sounds about good to me. You'll be as far out of danger as possible, I Fantastic. imagine. Fantastic. <laughs> hey, uh... Roll me a perception check. Great. All of us, or? No, just him. Oh. Uh, J- just Eloy. That would be 21. You look up as everyone's agreeing on this. You take a nice big old chunk out of some elephant stew, and you look up, and there's a tuxedo cat in a red cape looking Fantastic. at you. Guys, he's back. Roll perception, everyone. Uh, 21. Uh, 18. He's not there. I don't think he exists. <laughs> He's right there! To Mr. Convictor, tell him you're right there! Grammy's sitting there. Hi. D- no, you live in my heart, Grammy. You're always there with me. <laughs> Actually, I've been right here next to you the whole time. You want more soup? Yes, please. There you go. Mr. Convictor! You've been listening in on us. That's not nice. That's not my name. As Gore walks in, that's where we'll end the session. <laughs> the fuck? I told him we'd meet him at his place. <laughs> he he got impatient. <laughs> well, my entire plan just got thrown out because there's a fucking cat there now. <laughs> nah, he didn't. He didn't fucking say anything. We don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. <laughs> mm. No, I will say this. I'm not going to say he sprung up on you. He. Like, uh, he made his... He didn't make an entrance. He, like, came before the ship and was like, hey, we're here. We kind of... We we wanted to console you on the fact that you lost. Also, he seems like a fucking, (laughs) like, wild card. I don't know what this convictor guy, where where his true allegiances seem to lie. He just seems like a crazy man. (laughs) All right, well, we'll see where this goes next time, I guess. Yep. (laughs) I spent so much time formulating that. Oh, the plan can still work. <laughs> All right. You just don't, you, you're you just like, oh, the cat's still here. And like, Eloy, there, there probably is no cat. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, this might be the end of today's adventure. We do have some fan art to go through. Ooh. Let me uh, yeah. pull out my phone here. And by the way, we've been starting to get so much fan art that uh, starting next week, what I'd like to do, uh, Tuesday, probably around like two-ish, three-ish, I'd like to do a quick little just fan art only appreciation stream just to make sure that we're getting out of here at a decent time because we are getting so much fan art now that uh, I'd like to at least be able to highlight a lot more of it than I am able to at the back end of this stream. Mm, Right, that makes sense. Oh, guys, there's a lot. There's a good one. There is. We got plenty just during this session. Uh, So if we start at number one, we have by Ray Roan. Uh, Y-R-E-R-O-N on Twitter. 
I love this uh, sketch, uh, very watercolory Nedra. It looks like school photo day. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like a, <laughs> a portrait. I am so. super into this. This is really. Yeah, I cool. love that art style. That's great. So thank you so much, uh, Re Roan, saying hashtag T- at TFS at the table at Punchy Princess <laughs> colon three. Uh, but next we have. Uh, what somebody has been dubbing a team surf and turf. <laughs> this is very this is very close to how I imagined our outfits actually for the uh, uh, arena. This is by Chimera Chan or at Goat Chimera saying final Sheldon Flash and his lovely terrifying apprentice uh, spent too long on such a small piece and working on a much bigger piece for the crew. Ooh, I okay, look forward to that. Okay, can we just talk that. about, like, you saying, like, it's a small piece. Dude, come on. That's, yeah, that's great. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's crazy amazing. good. That's, like, manga quality. Yeah, that's that's incredible. I love this. Yeah, yeah manga yeah, cover yeah. quality. I love the shading on it. Like, it just looks so badass. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> it super does. That That's kind of what I imagine when I'm like, you got two Dark Souls bosses walking <laughs> at you right now. Just coming in. All right, uh, it's taking a little bit to load. There we go. Okay, uh, at, uh, yeah, next one we got at Star Phoenix 9 doing oh, a bit yeah. of an ensemble shot here. Uh, and that's... Let's see here. We got we got little Skrung. We got little Skrung next to giant Nedra. Uh, praying. I like that they're they're mirroring poses, but Nedra's just like yeah, and Wake's just like meditating. Ezra, Eloy. I like the tan on Eloy. Actually. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. Actually, I was like, huh. You know, I know you're from like from the mountainside and everything, but considering like the way that like, this world works and it's like geographical like landscape and everything, that super works. Yeah, yeah. No, that's really cool. I love the. Uh, I, lo- I love his donkey half too. Like yeah. it's got a, I don't know the 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 legs and the little tufty tail and how it's just a little bit shaggy. Is that kind of how you imagine it? Yeah, yeah. that's that's really cool. Then we got red, and I absolutely love the scarring on Anza. <laughs> I know. I'm just like that's not there, but fuck it, that's amazing. I like that. <laughs> he probably he's probably got a few oh, of those from yeah, our yeah. adventure by oh, now. Yeah, yeah. By now he's probably all kinds of battle scarred. Yeah, this guy's art is great. He's mm-hmm. actually made a couple emotes for for my stream. And that's oh, how, nice! Yeah, oh, so nice! That's how, that's how I saw this. He like DM'd me with it first. He's like, "Oh man, I'm I'm working on this. Like that looks awesome. Like I know that it's still like a bit in progress because he wants to add the rest of the crew. But I was like, this is amazing. You can definitely post this now and like this looks awesome. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, and if they do intend to keep adding to it, like more of the crew, I can't wait to see the oh, next yeah, iterations. Sure. Uh, next up by. Uh, Sage Green Cat, who I believe has a few. Uh, here's a nice little poster oh, of shit. Turf and Surf. Nice. <laughs> the fiery red dragons. Uh, let me see if I can read the uh, parts on the uh, upper and bottom. <laughs> Lockwood Natural Wonders presents free entry, single day events, <laughs> open bets. High noon, big top. All challengers are welcome against Team Surf and Turf. I would, I would cheer for this tag team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Sage Green Cat. I believe you have a few more. In fact, I think this next one is yours as well. Uh, Again, at Sage Green Cat, drawing the fairy dragon. Psychedelic. Uh, Beautiful colors. I'm... Yeah, I, I absolutely love this. His his little face. It's like it's kind of like a cross between a frog and a cat. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm. I. You know what? I'm okay with this being the canon image. <laughs> yeah. That we have our we have our boy it there. Yep. A little curly chameleon tail back there. Give me more honey. I want the honey. Uh, thank you so much, Sage Green Cat. I think you have one more a little later on in this. Uh, but next from at Fuego Mo. Ooh. Yeah, I love I love the uh, the An- angles angle the and the curves on this one. It's yeah, great, so cool. and the vibrant colors. Mm. Nedra testing out her new Tatsubo. Just really happy to have it, posing for the camera. Ready to swing. Absolutely love the cartoony art style there. Uh, speaking of art styles that I absolutely love, at Yup B has another great Nedra. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I, li- I like this one a lot. It's uh, there's like no border. It's kind of samurai jackish where they don't have like yeah. you know the black lines on the outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I love this. Like people yeah, love drawing Nedra. I think I think Nedra like Nedra might be yeah, our most popular. Fa- well, fa- fan art wise, we get like a lot Nedra of dot 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 everything else. <laughs> yeah. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, we have a couple of emote slots left open. 
I'm considering uh, a, a Nedra emote. A Nedra emote, but yeah, let's 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 save the surprise though. Mm, I, was yeah. say, I was about to say, I'm like, I have the idea. <laughs> I want to save the surprise, but it's going to take up a few things. All Ooh. right, let's 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 use some of them slots because we have them open. Uh, also, speaking of open, somebody whose commissions are open, according <gasps> to their Twitter. Ooh, Caitlin N. Uh, Thirty-seven yeah. with uh, AJ. <laughs> Oh shit! He looks like he's seen something. <laughs> yeah, I, I love his uh, cigarette. Uh, <laughs> he is—he's uh, every bit as schlubby as I imagined. The most schlubby high elf I've ever seen, and I love it. <laughs> I just don't want to be here anymore. Just fuck this, <laughs> please. Yes, thank you, Caitlin uh, C thirty-seven. Uh, absolutely love everything they've been putting in. Uh, here's Takata One One's character AJ. He's a blast to watch. <laughs> That was a great guest appearance. That and uh, next up by at Jasper PRL, Jasper Lind. Here's ah. our fairy boy eating that honey. Oh. I'm just going in for a smackerel. <laughs> 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 oh, bother. Shit, now I kind of wish I made him that voice, but fuck it. Oh, we're just we're fine with what he is. Oh. Don't eat me, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good for your tummy. I'll summon a pox on you. <laughs> I'll rain down the plague. <laughs> you good old float down here, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> and the hundred league C. Uh, next up by Master Lederhosen or M Lederhosen on Ooh, Twitter. That's a good one. Yeah, a great uh, spar between master and apprentice. I love the facial expressions. Yeah, yeah. just Wake being super serious, and I like that he's like not blocking the punch but deflecting it because yeah. that's how you have to fight Nedra. <laughs> yeah. You don't block it unless you're bigger than her and Ooh. not many people Barabbas are bigger than her. Barabbas figured that the fuck out right quick. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't block her. You, you deflect. Uh, saying Drew, Wake, and Nedra from TFS at the table just casually sparring. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> Absolutely love that art style. Thank you so much. Uh, scrolling down, uh, next one, Zito, you'll love this one. Scandran in zero one. <laughs> yes. Nice. Red, Fucking yes. Red guy gore. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh no, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Scandran in zero one saying, "Don't know how this mashup hasn't popped in the TFS fan art yet, but here's everyone's <laughs> new favorite TFS NPC, <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Gore." Haven't haven't made a forgettable character yet. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. I I He's I just was so excited. I was so hoping that people would like this man. I'm like, <laughs> I like just the concept of him alone making it, I'm just like, oh, I really hope people like Gore. I really, really hope so. I'm really afraid at some point he's gonna have a heel turn because it's gonna be tough for me to like fight against this man at any point. Look, well, I, 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 man I managed strong, to but... injure him. <laughs> But him just on a nat twenty though. Yeah, on a nat twenty, I managed to injure him, and he just him patting me on the back did almost as much damage. Floor. Ten and knock prone. Well, when uh, the the scene where uh, where Scrung was revealing that the calls are japing us, I'm sitting there like, not Lieutenant Gore. I don't. No, I don't want to go. Oh, he's up against he's not with the calls. He's the military. Yeah, exactly. And as soon as that came out, like, no, he's he's an honest cop though. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to believe it of that man. <laughs> Not him. All right. Uh, next up by uh, at Sage Green Cat again. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Nope. Oh, did this get out of order? Uh oh. Oh, nope. Never mind. No, that was the one right before. This is Scandran in Zero One again uh, <laughs> saying, Look at all the fucks I get. <laughs> that was the best fucking line in the Just whole Eloy thing. not giving a shit next to that schlubby high elf. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty great. It's very Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. My timeline didn't load that one up, but I absolutely love that one. Thank you so much, Scandran and Zero One. Uh, next up by at Sage Green Cat. Ooh. We have a marketplace scene uh, for uh, Waking Calliope's little date. There she is holding the uh, <laughs> glass shark and him holding the glass deer uh and you can see grammy sneaking around the i am so <laughs> fucking impressed by yeah no everything theater, going theater on in the, the background yeah here. theater of the mining the background and then painting it i'm just like that's amazing i love that <laughs> yeah you got like the elephant statue back there you have the uh tabaxi trying to sell their many wares uh, Khajiit have many wares to sell. <laughs> uh, all the ASMR in the background with the ASMR children just flying around trying to catch each other. My and just a small tender moment in the middle. Yeah, I absolutely yeah. love this piece. Thank you so much, a Sage Green Cat. The market. 
next up, uh, at Mayart, M A E A A R T, drawn this, Whoa. yeah, this beautiful watercolor wake. Like, I, I love that. Like, wake going full nude in the water. Why not? <laughs> just, just a skinny dip for the day. I got to go fish. Fishman. I imagine this is what Wake was like before he joined the crew. Just like, I got to get some food today. <laughs> what are pants? What the fuck are clothes? It's been uh, days under the sea. May saying, uh, first piece of fan art for TFS at the table. We hope it's not the last. Uh, mm. Jealous of the merman's luscious locks. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see. Scrolling down next from uh, at Sci-Fi Hero, I believe. We Whoa. have uh, the Natural Wonders Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> yeah. I love Eloy like using a keytar as a shotgun. <laughs> Didn't we like make a joke about that when we were making your character? <laughs> it all comes full circle. Nice. I, like Wake's just going up there to fight a mummy ninja, I guess. <laughs> a mu- you know what? A mumja. Dude. Saturday morning cartoon, it fits. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's our foe, Mumja. <laughs> and I'm just there as the ringleader leading from behind, as I often do. <laughs> oh, well, it's like you're about to fight a cheetah pyre. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought cheat pyre. <laughs> our enemies are teaming up. My, my arch nemesis. Okay, everyone, you now know what you have to draw. <laughs> this, this, is ama- this is gold. You are fucking making gold here. <laughs> Mumja and cheat pyre. And cheat pyre. No, dude. Fuck it, I'm gonna find a way to make this cannon. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fucking find a way. Look, if we have a rival crew that just has like a no, wait, no, it has to be somebody that like we hur- hideously burn, but they're like a ninja, so oh, they no, become like the, a mumja. It's, it's the guy I tripped with the, the ball bearings. Yes! <laughs> oh no! He lives! Mumja is here! I have risen as the mighty mumja! <laughs> Your ball bearings have no effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. What do I have up next here? Oh, you actually need a refresher. Ah, yes. Let me scroll down to that one because it, it was a few down. Do 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 do. By Usagi the Bunny uh, at U S A G I T H E B U N N Y. Nedra and our cute little fairy dragon. It. Those big old oh. eyes. Big old. She's just eyes. so happy. She thinks so cute. <laughs> I'm your best friend so long as you got the honey for it. I like honey. I like honey so much. I'm only in my lava state. <laughs> oh, no. I'll get bigger. One day. <laughs> you won't all bow before me. <laughs> Soon, this, <laughs> these few gallons of honey will yes, not th- be enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Usagi the Bunny, uh, who says, uh, so glad TFS at the table decided to take along a tiny dragon. Tiny dragons make the best pets. Dude, pseudo dragons, <laughs> tiny dragons, something draconic has to happen. Risk wasn't enough. You needed more. It's dungeons and dragons. All right, let's see. Yeah. Next up. Ah, yes. Here we are. Nice. Uh, I, I, I saw this like the instant after the last one ended, but a little embarrassed, a little uh, crush, shook, uh, crush shook wake. Mm. Uh, this is by at MST Lauser, E M S T Y L A U Z E R, saying, had to draw them, the best ship. Uh, love the colors and love the shading on this one. I love his take on Calliope, too, and I like everybody has had the, like, her little button earrings and stuff like that. Yeah. I like Wake's eyes in this shot. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's very I'm, James-esque from I'm just, Pokemon. I'm just embarrassed. <laughs> and uh, one more of everybody's new favorite NPC. Yo! <laughs> yes! That one's great. By at Ardo Mewtwo, A-R-D-O-M-E-W-T-W-O, saying my interpretation of the fabulous <laughs> General Gore. It's me. It's Hello, me. it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the highlight goatee is great. He would. He would. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm so happy I didn't like tell Jack. I'm like, you know what? Let's wait and see. Yeah, let's if see what... character if characters mainstay a little bit, then maybe we'll draw him. And you know what? Yeah, you know artist what? Artist interpretation, interpretation is, is great. Yeah. I love it. And actually, because real... they all come, they kind of come to a consensus at yeah. a certain point. <laughs> and actually, real quick, I had a late addition. I oh. snuck oh. over on. Break oh, you and... snuck over and added one. What'd yeah. you, what'd you throw me, on uh, here? I think we still need to load it into OBS. Yeah. Let me do that real oh. quick. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, well. Seeing a secret late the, right in the, the entire reasons I want to add an art stream <laughs> so that we can highlight yes. all of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. Oh, hold on, pivot. It's a tall image. 
Yeah, see, normally I take care of all of this beforehand. By the way, for those wondering who cultivates, it's me. It's me! It's me. <laughs> Hello! But yeah, who is I this had, by, Ben? This is by, ooh, let me pull it up. Yeah, this occurred to me just midstream because you brought up the idea of, of getting uh, Eloy a new set of clothes. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, canonically, I want this to be Eloy's performing outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Wake and Nedra incredible. have their battle, have their uh, show <laughs> battle attire. And now, Everybody's got my top hat. Yeah, you got your top hat, so there, there you go. You actually have your show going. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, by AJ Draws at age old underscore art. And yeah, I love the, you guys probably can't see it too well from back here, nope. but I love the details. He's got little, uh, little heart clasps on the feather cloak. <laughs> nice. Uh, and he's got the, uh, I love the E bling that, <laughs> <laughs> that ties it all together. I, I love every bit of this outfit. As far as I'm concerned, the only reason why Eloy would break his, his, Last minute cram session practicing uh, tomorrow in game is to dash out to the bazaar, and this is what <laughs> this is. I want to wear. This is what he comes back with. Yep. <laughs> Look what I got. If only I didn't lose all my money, Nedra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, would he actually have like a fucking like little grudge against Nedra for losing? <laughs> because that'd I don't be know. Amazing. That's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you taught me what losing a bet feels like, and I don't like it. This is strong. This yeah, is what sucks, happens. Don't it? I should have known not to bet against the one that lost the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it takes more than that to make Eloy angry. It takes being AJ for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that does it for the art. Beautiful stuff, guys. And like I said, uh, next Tuesday around... I'm going to say like 2, 2.30. I'm going to try to get it kicked up around then. We'll be highlighting pretty much all of the art that I have not been able to post because I do have it like loaded up on the computer over there as well as uh, any of the stuff that's thrown out throughout the week. I still want to do like a small highlight at the end, but mm -hmm. make, it a, make it a bit more of a limited affair for something like this. Mm. But thank you so much for joining us, guys. Uh, been a wonderful Tuesday. Can't Absolutely. wait till next Tuesday. And we'll see you all next time at the table. Later, Wonders. <laughs>